Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Football Shirt Social, your bi-weekly YouTube and now Spotify show, which looks at the world of football shirts. I am your host, Tony Jameson, and joining me as always is Mr. Cy Maggio. Cy, how are you, pal? Are you well? I'm very, I'm very good. Uh, my team has been promoted. We're back in the championship, as you can tell by the Portsmouth shirts that I am wearing and and behind me as well. How how are you? How are you? Well, first of all, congratulations, mate. Congratulations. I mean, no, I didn't do it personally. It well, wasn't me. No, but you know, don't take, don't you know, pass the plaudits off. I mean, you know, <laughs> how it works, isn't it? Right, football fans all take the glory. It's oh yeah, we all got promoted. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We definitely really well. in the last uh, the, the one time I've been in the last ten years to a match. Well, if it wasn't for that match, then it would never have happened. You know, it's all it's all collective, right? Um, but yes, yeah, so no, congratulations to Portsmouth for getting promoted. Um, I I'm all right. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I've had a decent week. Um, getting some bits and bobs done. We should say as well, by the way, uh, that Mr. Maggio last week had his stag do. So we didn't record the show last weekend. So we're recording it this weekend because he's got his voice back. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't have any voice. I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to sound like this the whole, <laughs> <laughs> like just, I, I wasn't too hungover, but just the voice was gone. You know, just wet, a few too many whiskeys later the night. Mm. And, um, you know, it just it stretches your vocal cords. Air conditioning in hotel rooms, and that's the thing. It's always it's just, it always plays havoc with my my th- uh, vocal cords as well. So, um, so yeah. So last week, obviously, definitely we the hotel to... room. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> definitely the hotel room. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. Yeah, like normally I'm absolutely fine, but if, yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> that'll be it. Um, but yeah, let's say not quite chilled that week. To be honest, this week um, we've had a couple of bits of football news that we're going to talk about as we go through the show. Um, obviously, as is tradition, we'll describe what we're wearing, discuss what we're wearing. Si, I'm going to leave you hanging first of all, because you're actually you know what? No, talk to me about your Portsmouth kits then. Let's go. Because it's right. remiss okay. of me to go first. Right. You go. Well, I, I want to go. You to go. Okay. We'll, we'll come Do you want back. me to go we'll, first? We'll, okay, we'll, I'll go first. Yeah, go on. You got your. Right. So I'm going to get. Is this Santos kit, right? Santos. Yeah. yeah the Santos kit. Go on. Show us your Santos kit. It's what all year right, is it? So here we go. So I think, I believe this is the 21 22 kit, possibly. Well, new one, okay. um, so it's not It's not brand new, but it's newer. Um, again, it's another, it's another Depop purchase. So there seems to be a few people doing some pretty good. Brazilian shirts uh, at the minute that are coming through. Uh, also, officially, I double checked. I was like, "Is it definitely a real one?" They're like, "Yeah, straight from Umbro." So it's come in the bag and everything. Like that. So I've got all uh, the tags were on there as well. So we've got all that. So and the thing I like about Umbro, okay, this is going to be a thing that I'm probably going to be part of today's show. The thing I like about Umbro, those shirts fit. Yeah, like it says, it's a large, and it's a large. Okay, none of these other companies will go, it's a large. By what we mean is, it's a bit bigger than a small. Like, so here's what we got, full size. Oh, it's it's got like a retro style with the sort of those those chevrons. It's beautiful, isn't it? Like through there. So again, we'll talk chevrons because again, that'll be something that'll come up during the show. But yeah, the chevrons, uh, it's a it's a lovely little touch, which I really, really like. Um, it's similar to the the other Brazilian one I had. The, oh, was it? I can't pronounce it. Uh, Chapa, 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 you know the one Chapa, I mean. Like, Chapa, yeah. Chapa, 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 yeah. So I don't that. know if I've said it right. <laughs> again, I've got that green Hummel shirt, which again has the chevrons running through. Um, plain sleeves, which so you know, second little... Um, extra panel there. Nice collar gives a bit. Yeah, of it's space. interesting that collar. Just a, a little black, little, little flick of black. black on there. Oh, on the inside no. as well. It's yeah. Like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then nothing too big, so it's not going to get out of the way. And um, yeah, plastic or rubber, rubber. Yeah, a lot of newer ones are. I like them actually because rubber they don't go bad logo, in the wash. which is good. Um, screen printed umbro. Oh, it's not sewn on. I feel like Umbro no, has to be sewn on. It should be sewn on, shouldn't it? Um, and then another little, and we've got another little sort of a screen printer. A little badge. Oh, yeah, that's on the bottom there, which is badge. the uh, nice. Santos um, Supporters Club, I believe. And then interestingly, for Santos, a club that's, of course, is white and black as their primary, primary colours. It's like a green? Like a sort of turquoise almost, yeah. 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 And a colour I wasn't expecting to have is like a, a flash and it goes, uh, yeah, up to there. And then the back's just fairly 
nice with a bit of a oh that they, i like that little bit at the top i can't see what it is under the umbro logo but it's like a it's like wings or something it looks like or a scarf is it a scarf Something like that, yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> like a ribbon, I guess, like some kind really of ribbon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they so, have a name. I forget what they're called. Like the ribbons underneath badges, like this one on the Pompey shirt. That yes, actually has a name. Yeah, I don't remember what it is. I've, I've got a couple of books on kits and badges now, and I ought to read them because I'm sure mm. they'll tell me. <laughs> mm, so there you go. So that's what I've got. That's what I've decided to go for for there. So yeah, I went. I went Brazilian this week. Um, happy stag do side um, because <laughs> I, I don't know maybe this is a future football manager thing i might try and do a a sort of a, a santos in the second division someone will do have, it have it's, you it's, have you done brazil no no i heard it like, i've heard i mean i don't think it's just a large number of games because it's like one tournament and then another tournament and the third you have the state championship and then you have the regular one, and then you also have Copa Libertadores or Sudamericana. I think in the second division, it's a bit like the NBA, where it's like 80 games or something as oh. well. So, and I think there'll be quite a few people will be maybe considering doing Santos next year, but then we'll be put off pretty quickly by the fact that it's 80 games in the second division. But then I think Neymar's back. Is that, am I right with that? Is that something that I'm, I've ever read that? Or He's potentially injured, going he? back or... I don't know, but I don't know, maybe, you know, if he doesn't, it's even better, but I thought, I was looking around, and I was like, oh, you know what, that's a nice little show, I might treat myself to that, so I treat myself to that, and while you're Googling, Si, Santos also... is his middle name, Ah, but uh, no, it looks like he's still at Al Halal. Mm. Well, okay. Inj- I think he's injured, I thought he had a big injury, he might be oh, back. Oh, he did, didn't he, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I bought this on Depop as well, and you know, we, we always have this thing where we go, Right, we're not gonna. We we tend not to look at British teams, don't we? And go right, you know. But I had I had a moment of, of of potential madness, and I was like, I wonder if this is worth something. It is again an original, an original. It is long sleeved. Okay. Okay. Leicester City. Ooh. <laughs> Tops tiles. <laughs> Jackal. Tops. Yeah, so what's that? Nine, nine, uh, 2002 or three, I'd guess. Yeah, like I, I feel like this should have Jamie Vardy sweat on it. Like it feels <laughs> like it would be a Jamie oh, it's, Vardy all, it's longer, style. it's longer ago than Vardy, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's what I realized once I was just like, oh, I'm sure Vardy was way before, way after that, but yeah, you're probably looking at who would have been you probably look at uh, Muzzy, is it? So I've spoke to my Leicester City mate, and he's like, Dark Days is all he said for this oh, one, right. so so but look at that proper stitched on badge as well yeah yeah that's Fully that's what stitched. sort of makes it look look a bit older I'm yeah trying, oh wait no hang on hang on hang on because leicester had walkers for a long time they did they did oh here it is there's this little gap here with then they had alliance leicester which was like the bank yeah down in the championship jacko um 2007 2008 and 2008 2009 oh, okay I have a feeling Portsmouth had Jacko, or did we have Joma? Mm. See, see, left the change from Jacko to Joma. I can share it with you uh, if I find the yeah. one. So Leicester switched from. We are going to come back to Leicester shirts later. Mm. Actually. Um, so this is the one. I don't know which of those two you have. Unless they I didn't, think did they not change? I, uh, no, I don't think it changed actually. Yes, yeah, so that'll be the that'll be the one we got there. Oh seven oh eight oh seven oh eight. Yeah. Wait, hang on, oh eight oh nine. That's the, that's the same shirt. Same shirt, isn't it? Yeah. Worn by the likes of Stephen Clements. There we go. There you go. Bruno, Bruno and Gotti and Stephen. Bruno Clements. and Gotti. Yeah. Tops tiles. Yeah. Okay, that's so probably down in the down, down, remembered. Down, down to League One. Yeah, that's why. Ah. Uh, yeah, they had that. They had that. You know, they came up to the Premier League two thousand and three. Mm. They came up with Portsmouth. Um, that shirt there with Portsmouth. That was the yes. Portsmouth shirt with Ty Beanie Babies on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so we they came up in 2002-2003 uh, but they went straight back down again and then mm-hmm. they went down to League One and then they came back up again and then yeah. eventually of course they won the Premier League well, won the FA Cup and gone back down again and maybe mm-hmm. back up again I don't so think they, they, didn't get promoted. they didn't get promoted today did they but I no, think they are nobody the wants verge. to get promoted in that division I believe so <laughs> yeah that's it everyone wants to let someone else in yeah um, considering how far ahead they are of everyone else as well but yeah, that's um, 
Oh like, well, they're all letting maths take over, aren't they? So. So do you do you think it? Do you think it, it's a uh, you know? Is it one you're gonna you're gonna store save for later? Um, and I don't know. I, I I feel like it's a flip. I feel like it's a flip. But but then again, long sleeve. You don't see many long sleeve shirts anymore these days. So I was like, I would normally have just let it pass me by. But when I saw the long sleeves, I was like, I wonder. I wonder. And it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't expensive. So I was like, right, I'll pick it pick it up and uh i was i was double checking because it was a proper vintage store that was selling them and like i was oh, going through everything else that they've got and i was like look i said you know what's the crack here and they're like no no it's, it's real and it's it needs a wash it's definitely real it needs a wash. <laughs> it definitely needs a wash um still so i was like all right fair enough let, let's wash. go for it um and yeah and like i said i sent my uh, message to my mate who's a leicester fan and he just went <laughs> I remember that shirt. And I was like, oh, right. So I'm not sat on a gold man, am I not? <laughs> no, not a good one. Um, but you never know. Like, a, it's a weird sponsor. Like, it's mm-hmm. an interesting with a little, like, character like that. Yeah. It could definitely be something maybe, you know, in a, in a few years' time. If I mean, I think if Leicester did, imagine if Leicester did well. I think it would be the Walkers ones that people go for. Like, Walkers yeah. and Leicester is so synonymous. 100%. Um, 100%. But certainly, like, it. <laughs> So I was talking to Trek because I was saying, right, I've got too many shirts. I've got to sell a few. Mm. And, and I was thinking about, and also to to Jory, who we had on the other. I to, need to, I need to start week. selling a few. as well. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll, we'll get a plan together during the show. Yeah. So I need to start well, selling a few out as well. Trek was like, don't sit on them. <laughs> Just mm. save them. Because I've got ones which are like, I don't know, let's say like a, a, a 2007 Real Madrid shirt, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like no, just like sit on it. Although now it's got, I think a moth has literally got that one shirt. But um, I mean, mm-hmm. that's my worry. If I sit on them, I'm, you know, there's something is going to happen that's going to destroy them in some way, and they're not going to be worth yeah. anything then. But it's like, well, I've got, I've got to say, but I think it's mostly like some training tops and things that I've got sat around that I might mm-hmm. filter out. A couple of like strange ones that I might filter out. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to, to to shrink the collection down to something more more manageable I've, i mean i've the one of the worst things i've started doing is picking up jackets and i've picked up some really I've nice ones because they go cheaper this. well they, they go they cheaper do. they do i nearly got a i think we were both in the same whatnot uh stream this week and i nearly got a, a 1990s adidas originals absolute banger but yeah that went for a little bit more than i was prepared to pay for it oh, yeah. and there's also <laughs> i didn't win that one long sleeved west german football shirt Oh, I saw that like, one, yeah. And that one went for a little bit more than I was going to pay for as well. That was the same stream where both of us looked at the, the signed Ronaldinho shirt that was like, oh, <laughs> was like mm. Yeah, I think it ended up going for 200 or something Did like it? that. Oh, um, yeah, 205. Started on like 85 or something. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, you could, like, I mean, I'll, I'll share what, what have I got on the whatnot. Arrived this morning, a PSG. Which is kind of like, I liked it because it was, a, 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 like, I know we all, we, you know, PSG isn't necessarily. A, pop, a popular team into it is a popular team but it's not like mm. a team that people would necessarily go to but i actually liked the color of this one like it's like a, yeah yeah that's a nice like shirt. The, the, the palette's nice isn't it all the yeah, colors yeah. work nicely together it's got a nice sleeve on it so mm. um like sometimes i'll just see some of that and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll just grab it oh i got this actually you'll like this one this was the other one from the same stream you might have seen it i did see that it's not my size it's not my size i'm glad it's your size though is it not i think it is a large is it? No, it's immediate. It's immediate. Oh, I thought it was going to say. Was that going to be my surprise shirt? And then I nicked it off you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I won it. No, I don't think anyone bid on it, actually. I think I was the only person who bid on it. So I've I was got like, a couple. Okay. I, you nearly got a, a Jeu Garden Away shirt that was maroon, but unfortunately that's been that's been picked up by someone else. Wait. Oh, you nearly yeah, was that. it me? <laughs> I might genuinely no, no, no. Me. No, it was on a different, unless What's you this bought one here? from the same place. This could be awkward, this uh, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I got, uh, what did I get? Torino? Nice Torino. Oh, nice. That is a nice yeah. one, actually, yeah. Uh, I don't know what year this is. But yeah. And uh, mm. some, I did show, I don't know if I've shown you these. Oh, they're, they're, I, you know what? I saw they them. Like, I saw them as well. They're, they're the large. They're like, I can't even, <laughs> they're so long. So I don't know if I'll actually ever wear them. Um mm. They're a ridiculous size, so yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Whatnot is going to be the downfall of my of my bank account. I think. Um, I, think I mean, so. the thing is, I can sell them all again. Like that's ju- it's just a bit of hassle, right? Like anything yeah. I buy, I could sell. I mean, Nothing's losing too much value. I'm sure some of it might. Some of it might gain value. 
Mm. Well, that's the thing. Like, I've got like some 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 Villa shirts that I'm like sort of thinking I'm not going to be using them again. Like I could probably flip them off and, and make a few quid. I mean, even the, you know, the, the I'd flip them off too. My beloved in my beloved in the shirts could probably you know now that we know that you can <laughs> actually open the neckline. I'm like, oh, maybe don't <laughs> get rid of that. But I'm gonna, sitting there going, that's probably worth a few quid. And then that Ajax shirt's worth a few quid. And yeah, like yeah. you know, I'm I'm sp- speaking to Mrs. J about it. I'm like, look, do I just and here's a question, by the way, for anyone who's who's willing to put comments below. Is it better to flip those shirts and start buying one or two? I think we asked this with Jory, didn't we? One or two nice pieces and start building a, a more bespoke collection rather than just going, I have a hundred football shirts <laughs> because they were 15 quid. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. um, is it that sort of thing? Like, should I look and go, right, my ambition with this is to own the first ever Premier League seasons kits or only collect Italian shirts from the 90s or, you know, only find long-sleeved European shirts or something like that. Like, you know, what 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 should my collection look like, essentially, is where, is where I'm thinking here. Yeah, so I've started to go down the route of Mexican shirts a little bit, which is one of the areas, and Italian mm. shirts. So Mexican and Italian will always attract me. Yeah. Um, but I don't, but I, my problem is like anything Italian in the 90s is way too expensive for me now to just, yeah. Buy. So I think like that as a collection isn't going to happen for me, which sort mm. of puts me in like a, I mean, maybe it should, but you know, they're not spending a lot of money on some sh- on like very few shirts. I don't know. Um, and then the other, the other thing, well, so I, one of the things I've been watching, so people had some other interesting ideas. One of them is, uh, there's someone who's collecting every number. Oh, that's quite a good one. It's yeah, nice. so so they're looking for shirts with numbers on the back, mm-hmm. and they're trying to get every number between one and a hundred. So you get a, a wide variety of shirts, yeah, but you get a different number on the back of of all of them. Um, so you, you get some odd odd bull shirts. Uh, and then the other one I saw was um, actually we spoke about this on the show, I think, which was the Adidas template. We were with jewelry last week. We had the yeah, different, yeah, yeah. that guy who was collecting yeah, Ipswich the, template, the, yeah. the Ipswich template, yeah. So I that think was, the thing that was is, kind of interesting. I think the ones that we want, the shirts that we want, are going to be crazy expensive because everybody wants those shirts. Like, it doesn't matter whether it's the first Premier League season. It doesn't matter whether it's USA 94, Italia 90. Like, these are all shirts or, like, these are shirts that you just can't get a hold of anymore. Like, Italia 90, for example, like, again, we, we spoke about this. Like, I would love the Cameroon shirt from Italia 90. There's probably only about 20 of those in existence. Like, I don't yeah, think the they were even the selling them. Like, <laughs> like, and so they will literally be match worn. I can't imagine there was any fan issued shirts. So all you would be able to get would be replicas and, and you know, templated versions. So you're not going to be able to get actual, the Cameroon shirt from Italia 90. Like, even the England one from Italia 90. And as a Scotland fan, that England template was lovely was really really lovely really classy like umbro did a cracking job on it um i think a lot of people forget there was a red kit as well you only ever really see the white kit and the blue kit they forget that there was a red kit in there as well which was kind of pretty smart but like you know not the blue one sort of stood out for for sort of like musical purposes and then the white one's just is like iconic um but I think trying to get those kits and of course then they got the, the West Germany shirt as well which is just like in a level of its own trying to find some of those ones and going well I'm not getting much change out of 200 quid here no, how, do you, how do you say that to your wife going yeah. she's like yeah that's great the kid's birthday is next month <laughs> I was like mm, do you reckon he'd like a, a world a, a, a 1998 France shirt with Zidane on the back <laughs> do you reckon I mean a like kid's size, daddy size yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah if you get kid's size one mm. you know maybe that's it maybe you got to convince him that he wants kid's size ones that, and that, that's you know you're gonna get your kids into it. Sorry, that's it. No toys, it's football shirts. Yeah, yeah, it won't be. Well, what are yeah. you crying for? Stop crying. You got you've got a, you've got a 1993 Dortmund shirt in size uh, age seven to eight. I would have loved that when I was your age. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I did. I did sting someone on online as well recently. Um, they were advertising a original AIK centenary shirt for 35 pounds and i was oh, like no. <laughs> and i was like there's no way this is real but he'd photographed it in a way which and i was looking at the price going i know it's not 
And I'm like, is this, is this the original one? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I was like, all right. I said, what's the serial number then? I've never heard from him for a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. like, that's not, is it? That's no, it. didn't think so. No. Yeah. 35 is what, I mean, that's the thing. This, uh, like, I've done the video on it, and a few people contacted me about it, um, which is on Depop. And, the, mm-hmm. but like, one of my biggest issues is that they're, 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 just, they're just flipping them because you can buy them yeah. more, uh, from, like, when we had Trek on it, Trek gets some 15, 20 quid. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, they're they're my problem isn't necessarily that they're fakes there are there are obviously ethical issues of that but it's more that they're trying to tell us that they're authentic and yeah. and making a 20 quid profit on it at the same yeah. time yeah like the thing is like I, I knew i knew it wasn't and i knew it wasn't but for some reason i was still going i'm gonna ask the question here like because maybe it's just like the sort of to maybe i just like the games the game essentially just like i'm just gonna ask is this real and then i know they're never gonna respond you know I just feel like I'm calling it out, and I'm like, "Yeah, I've done my bit, I've done my bit." Yeah, but, yeah. Um, there, there was a, there was the black one on there as well. That was 125 quid starting price. So I was like, "Okay, maybe." But even then, you never really know. Uh, oh, and I did nearly get that that one we spoke about, didn't we? The um, the Atletico Monero one, the map shirt that was on Twitter. That yeah, was going, that was 75 quid. I, I didn't ask about it. I didn't uh, ask. I should have. I, I was going to do it. I was going to do it. And I was going to go 75 quid. I could sell a shirt and then cover that for 75 quid. That's probably reasonable. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. Size I think it was a good me off, seller. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Reputable seller. His, and, and, um, um, I've forgotten his name, but yeah, full, I've, I've full, seen full, it. Full kit wankers or something. Oh, is it full kit wankers? <laughs> we're, 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 they were retweeting it. So again, they All right. tend not to retweet stuff that's, that's you know that, that's not authentic and i was like oh, you know and i went through his other stuff that he'd been selling publicly as well and i'm like going yeah you know he, he's got his thing like i think he had the the 200 pound milan boxed shirt the fourth shirt going as well and i was like oh, okay nice I thought 75 quid for that map one i could go for that but without universal size and sign i wasn't willing to part with 75 quid no it's uh it's a very nice shirt though Oh, it's, it's Nike. It's a Nike, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Is is and it's it's that little bit of orange and navy blue on there as well that just works really yeah, nice with the nice. cream. Um, and it made me think, oh, maybe. And then I just had Mrs. J and it like meta like sort of metaphorically in my head going, and how much was that one then, Tony? And I'd be going, oh, um, not seventy five quid. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I have picked up another map shirt, um, mm. but it's in a what it hasn't arrived yet. It was on a whatnot stream, and it was for a team that I um, well, it's for it's the team actually I like. The the sponsor on the shirt is a controversial one because Gazprom, so mm. you can probably guess the team is Schalke. Uh, yeah. and they did a map shirt a few years ago, and I, I keep seeing Schalke shirts really cheap. And I, every time I'm tempted, and every time I'm like, it's the sponsor, isn't it? I know it's like not real, it's not like it's mm. not like it says. Uh, Putin on the shirt, is it? But it's still like it, it That's might as well, bitch, be. isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you know, th- this was a company that sponsored the Champions League for years, so it's like, yeah. I, but it like is a map shirt, so I was like, okay, I'm, mm. I'm gonna get it, and then it, it could be stored away until <laughs> all this blows well, over. Well, well, that 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 goes back to something we spoke about a couple of weeks ago on on the show, wasn't it? About you know, can you can, can you wear a Lazio shirt? Because again, yep. that would that would be part of my dilemma if I was collecting '90s Italian football shirts. Because for me, that Lazio shirt from that era, that Gascoigne era Lazio shirt, is stunning. Because I remember that shirt. I have, I remember seeing it and going, oh, "This is brilliant." But I'm, I'm then looking a couple of years down the line, watching Giuseppe Signori, going like, "Oh my God, how good's he?" Rather than going, <laughs> oh Lazio, <laughs> you know it's like where where do you draw your line? And I think it's your own line, isn't it? Where do you draw your own line rather than? Yeah, I've seen a few Lazio. I mean, I've got Hellish Verona shirts, and we went to see oh, Hellish yeah. Verona, and they famously have quite a, a small segment of their fans. Not all their fans, but I think all ta- most Italian, not all Italian, lots of Italian clubs. Uh, the ultras are. are Oh, are politicized one way or the other. They mm. tend to be. Yeah. Um, so there are some also some very left wing fans. But I think even like if you know Palermo or whatever, they have like some of the ultras are a bit, you know, not really. Well, mm. famously, some of the play um 
I was telling players. the mad scientist the other day because he's he's doing his 1990 uh, sorry 2008 save. Yeah, yes. good year, good year. Mm-hmm. Um, 2008 save with Palermo, and they've got Mickley, and um, I had to, I had to break it to them that Mickley isn't a nice character, <laughs> and that he's ah. basically he's an extortionist for the mafia, uh, and he was arrested for it. So yeah, which in some people's eyes sounds kind of cool, but the reality of it is, no, it's he's a nasty man who goes around threatening people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Mickley. If anyone remembers the footballer Mickley, um, hmm. maybe maybe best not to. Uh, he's um, moving swiftly yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> well, so yeah, okay, my shirt. So two, so two thousand and eight. Um, well, so I'm wearing my Portsmouth. Fir- I think I wore this on the first show. Right. Oh, I had it to the side. I had the one. You had it to the side. Right. Yeah. I don't think you've ever worn Portsmouth on the. Uh, I yeah, don't yeah. think you have. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But oh, I might have worn that one. Anyway, that that one's the promotion year two thousand and three. Just off yeah. screen is uh, is FA Cup final twenty ten. I haven't got promotion from League Two, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, that's promotion to Premier League. Um, but this week we got promoted again back to the Championship. We'll work out where we are in the league system. <laughs> Back to the Championship. So um, I thought I would crack out. Also, because today is a FA Cup day. This is the FA Cup winning shirt from it 2008. Is. So um, now it, it's what there's two things about it. One is I didn't realize originally for a long time. I think maybe I knew originally, but I forgot. Uh, this is a player issue one. Oh. I don't even know if these were on sale. They might have been, but I did know somebody who worked at the club at the time. Um, uh, actually, I worked with an ex-player at the time, and they were the lodgers at our house. She, mm. The lodger at our house. One of them was an ex-player for Portsmouth, and one of them was um, Harry Redknapp's secretary. So, uh, mm. yeah, they managed to get us some kit wear. Um, so it's it could even be for, directly from the changing rooms. Nice. Um, but it's like, so I only found out recently that the difference between this and the fan one is quite significant. I got a Deportivo fan one, which is the same template, mm-hmm. but it's like a really thick like very 2000s material whereas this this material on this like i'd see if i can like demonstrate it if i pull this like it's like yeah yeah it's like, it's like snap re- back straight like compression almost really, isn't it yeah it's yeah it's not quite compression but it's almost like a like a lycra or something but, and but like, it's but it's canterbury like, so, it's, so it's rugby shirt wasn't it it's a rugby yeah shirt rugby. i material. thought they went out yeah. of business but they i saw them in sports direct the other day they don't, they don't think they do any football shirts mm. anymore anyway um, but yeah, they did Pompey and they did Deportivo de la Coruña, both of us who have struggled since. Um, so maybe they're cursed because they also went bankrupt themselves. Um, but yeah, like the badge also isn't sewn on on the on the, mm-hmm. on the Deportivo one, it's sewn on. This is like a screen print one, but unfortunately, that does mean that, like, and I play football in it a lot, and I've it's what 16 years old now, so mm-hmm. it's it's take it, you'll pick out that it's not in the best of condition, a lot of peeling on it. Um, like these were originally yeah. these should be white, you know. They go down here as well. These little oh, patches. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they do. They're, they're like some tech thing. But I don't. I don't know if they actually do anything. Um, but I quite like because we went to like a gold, like a goldy yellow mm-hmm. in the color. Because before, I think on that one you you might be able to pick out just yellow, a, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a very bright yellow. Um, I like the shading of that. I, I do like the shading of that kit. It's very. It, it stood out as a Pompey kit because you normally yeah. got that that royal blue behind you, haven't you? Whereas that's a very different shade of blue with, as you say, with the gold on there. Yeah, it's lighter, um, much lighter. Is that so? Is that it's like white your, color? And this color isn't actually like. Was, yeah, so Campbell would have been here. Yeah, Campbell, Carnu, Carnu. We had some um, good players. Defoe, Glenn Johnson um, would have been that. Glenn Johnson well, was maybe, still there. Yeah. David James, although he wouldn't have worn this kit. No. Uh, who else would we, we had? We had we had a Matty, right Matty team. Taylor, uh, Matty Taylor, yes, just about. I think was he still there when he won the FA Cup? Mm, I think he was. Maybe, maybe not. Steve Stone, I think, had left. Um, yeah. Behind uh, you, we, but we had like oh, we had Lasana Diara in our midfield. He went to <laughs> AC yeah. Milan. He went to yeah. Real Madrid, and alongside him, we had um, Papa Bupa Diop, Simon Tari. He went to AC Milan. Yeah, you know, we we had we had some players who went places. Mm-hmm. Um, not in this kit, but in the other no, kit. In the had. kit behind you, Teddy Sheringham. Teddy, uh, not in that one. No, that oh, one. Oh, wait. Uh, no, yeah, that one, surely. Sorry, yes, that's not the promotion kit. That's the first season of the Premier League kit. Yeah, right. you're right. Teddy Sheringham. Mm-hmm. If it's the promotion kit, it's Paul Merson. If it's the mm-hmm. first season of the Premier League, it's T- Teddy Sheringham. The Teddy Sheringham one's kind of funny because he left Portsmouth after. He did well, then he left because he went, 
he was like, I can't cut it in the Premier League anymore. I'm too old. So he went to West Ham down in the Championship and they got yeah. promoted. And, and, then he, and then he was back in the Premier League again. So he did have another season in the Premier mm. League after that, but he was quite old by that stage. I think when he finally finished playing, he even had a match in the same in the same match as Charlie showing him his son. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, yeah. So he played for that long that he ended up playing against his son. Anyway, so I thought it's also, so this is the FA Cup winning shirt. Carnu mm-hmm. scoring in the final against Cardiff City. Sorry, any Cardiff City fans. And it's FA Cup this weekend. Um, spoiler for when we're recording this, Man City are in the final, but we don't know the other game. The other game is Coventry against um, uh, Manchester United tomorrow. So I've got a Sky Blue derby, or we've got a Manchester derby for the final um, in, in London, either way. But yes, so I thought for today's show, um, we'd, have a, we'd have an FA Cup winners kit tournament. FA Cup. Ooh. Yeah. So... Nice. What I've done is I've got the FA Cup winners from roughly the last 40 years. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do all 40. I've filtered a couple out. So some of the yeah. older ones I filtered out. Um, and we're also going to make it so each team can only have one. Okay. So like um, now, so we're going to, ha- what we're going to have to do is where there are teams which, that won multiple t- t- times, we'll have to like select one of their, pick the best shirt for yeah, that. That's yeah. It. yeah. Now, uh, I'm going to upset you with the with one of the ones I've cut straight away. Yeah. Um, but I'll, but I'll tell you why. Let me. So let's let's start mm-hmm. this. So the way this will work, we'll say we'll do it on. Um, we can do. We can have a look to see if they've they've got a kit on. Okay. This is the this is the one team I have to cut because otherwise we don't have an even number of teams. Yeah. Uh, and it's Sunderland. Uh, this is not the shirt. This no, is the it's... shirt from the season afterwards. Yes. yes. So. And the reason, so the reason I've cut it is because the actual shirt is, it's not like, I mean, it's classic, I suppose, where we're looking, 19, yeah. 1973. Know, I'm not on Sunderland anymore. I'm on Division 2. Um, you probably won't get it. It's not, it's not too dissimilar to that, to be honest. No, yeah. the, the one before this is dissimilar. This, that, this is, that is the first one where it actually has like anything on it. So the one before mm. is just this for a long time. So you see yeah. 72 is just like a, like, it's just yeah. a striped shirt. Yeah. So, so interesting that you mentioned this uh today and we haven't even discussed what we're going to talk about until about half an hour before the show started um last week so Sunderland have obviously announced now they've gone back to Hummel right which we've sort of yep. talked about a few a few episodes ago um which we thought was going to happen and it's now it's now all official so it's a five-year deal where where they're going to get some some actual bespoke kits that are designed by Hummel not just um you know Nike templates that have been found lying in the in the uh, in, in the warehouse slap a Sunderland badge on it. Um, that apparently is not a million miles away from what the new kit will look like. That is the new kit, uh, not officially, not officially. It's uh, not. The uh, chevrons are meant to go all the way down the sleeves, and there's still a question Ooh. mark over the sponsor. Okay, um, right. and, and in the red yeah. stripes is supposed to be either the either the, the um, either ships or or the sort of the the the, the weird side bridge, um, that's potent- so, so it's quite similar. It's not it's not official, and the way kit right. that we looked at is is apparently is quite off. This is the shirt though. That one there, that that white one with the, the with the blue sleeves. That's an iconic Sunderland shirt because that is the when we lost the FA Cup final to Liverpool in 1992, we wore that shirt. Now, it's an amazing shirt. I never actually owned that shirt. I owned the home shirt at the time. And it's one of those ones where I think, oh, should I have bought that shirt? I probably should have bought that shirt back in the day, but never did. Um, what's interesting is this week to ramp up the hype with the Hummel train, Sunderland released a limited edition 1992 reissue um, anthem jacket that we, we wore in the FA Cup final to commemorate that uh that defeat and of course there's been some people going oh why are we celebrating you know losing in a, in a cup semi in a cup final um this is it here and then with the third shirt that was never actually worn 1992 made sold out within a day the hummel hype is real on we side and they've got the vox brewery back in in as well which is like is it brewery, brewery. Is it? yeah oh, nice. I, we Love don't know what's happening shirt. with that sponsor, but Ooh, I like that they're now the... a micro brewery. That used that was a shirt that was never actually released, but, was, but, but we used but was played in. Uh, so they released that via Fanaticals as well. So oh, that's these are Fiorentina, all off that's the Fiorentina vibes. It feels the Decepticons from Transformers as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but 
as the original, the chevrons are a bit too big, and it was red rather than than purple and blue. But stunning, absolutely stunning. So you know what? I'm fine for Sunderland's shirt not to go in the uh, in the the best FA Cup final shirts because I think there's better. I must have yeah. Been. So well, so we so I had to cut it anyway because the numbers. And I thought I, but I thought I would show off the. They did have that season after, like a. That was the first time they had a proper shirt, really, as far yeah. as I can tell. We can be corrected by any uh, football shirt or Sunderland fans or anything mm-hmm. like that. Um, so, football shirt history. I didn't finish my sentence, then. I'm going to be corrected by a football shirt and animal objects talking to yeah. us. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> um, so. Uh, funny you should mention 1991, 1992 at Liverpool because that is where we were going to start. So, oh. um, well, we need to we need we need one Liverpool. So each team can only have one shirt in this tournament. So we got to we got to Liverpool have a lot of wins. Well, Liverpool mm-hmm. have about four wins, but yeah. Arsenal, Man United have about twelve. I've already pre-filtered a couple which were too similar or a bit boring. Um, but Arsenal, Man United, Man City, and Chelsea are, are like we've got we're going to have to decide. So Liverpool. So your options are. Um, now the way this will work, we'll, we can, we, well, we, I'll give you a choice. We can either judge it on the home and the away. We could, I mean, I could, I could have said we could have judged it on what they played in, but that would require way too much research for me to go back and have a look at all of them. Um, yeah. or we could, or we could judge it. We could, we, we could bring back FA Cup replays and we could, we could judge it oh. where we go on the home shirt. But if, if we, if we can't decide the replay is the away shirt. Okay. Um, if, if they have an FA Cup final shirt, that will count as the home shirt. Yeah. And then, if, if we can't decide, it'll be or it'll be if the away shirt. If but if we can't decide on, uh, then we we could, we could have a penalty shootout. Um, so if we, if we're disagreeing with each other, we'll have a penalty mm. shootout. The way we can do the penalty shootout. Well, I'll get to it if we, if we have one. Yeah. Um, but I but I got a good idea for a penalty I, shootout. I love that that Adidas template with the three big stripes across the shoulder. Yep. Really iconic. Um, it just, it's so simplistic, but also quite overstated. And what's interesting on this one, and did we talk about this on a show before? Possibly, I can't remember. But one year, the Adidas logo is in the second stripe. Another year, the logo is moved under the V-neck collar. I think it's the year after, yeah. It's, yeah, it moves, yeah, but it the moves. shirt's the same, just the placement of the Adidas logo has moved to under the collar, yeah. which I think actually looks neater because the way that the collar's designed, there's a little space and the logo goes in there. Um, but, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's stunning. I do like that that template. And the away kit, I love the green away kit of that, um, of that particular era's Liverpool kit. That's... Really, really smart. Really smart. And the goalkeeper kit was like, was it yellow with red and black shoulder pads, I think? Or oh, I'm thinking uh, of a slightly different one. template. It was yellow and black, yeah. Yeah, these these are the kits. Uh, mm. So yeah, just yellow and black. Okay, so, right. So we're, we're, we're going to... We'll, we'll try and fly through Liverpool because okay. um, I will I will show you the others. I have a feeling you're probably going to choose that one or one of the other ones. So this is the um, other one. But it's not no, that. this isn't the other one. So that, the, not this one. No, gone. this one's gone. It does. I mean, this has some iconic players in it. You know, Peter Crouch. Uh, you know, Stephen Gerrard, Xabi Alonso. Um, Didi Haman. Didi Haman. I didn't mean, I'm going to have to remember Don't. not to click the uh, close button. Let's mm-hmm. reopen. Right. Uh, I think also this one will probably be, a, I'm going to assume, an elimination, right? Yeah, go on. Getting rid of this. Right. Okay. And then we got, but, but there is one other. So it's between then the two older Liverpool shirts. I think, I think uh, it's got to have this, candy on it. Hmm. It's more of a classic Adidas template. You know what's interesting is that therefore reminds me that they didn't win the FA Cup with what I class as the candy shirts, the ones with the little bits, the pattern in it. Really no, bizarre. They, they never won the title with that. They won, they won 80, the FA Cup 89. That. 89, yeah. 92, and then mm-hmm. they won again 2004, which is that Crouch one, or 2005. Yeah. Uh, I think 2005, because I think it's the same year they win the Champions League, mm-hmm. which is or four or five. They won it one year and lost the next year, yeah. and then they win it. And then they've got a recent one, obviously, like 2017. I'm going to go with this one. This one? Out of the 80s kit is brilliant. That is lush. That is so lovely. Yeah. It is really, really nice. But I remember it being like blown vinyl. Those um the the sponsors the badge was blown, like yep. and so you'd get like a little bit of pink shading around those sorts of sponsors where like, any club had it with a bit of red on it, um a really cool classy kit, but for me I think it's that big stripe, that's yeah okay yeah I'll go with that's that. fine 
Right. Okay. So Liverpool, we sort. So we got a Liverpool team in. We have. So we're gonna the big teams we have to sort out. Right. The next team that we have to sort out is Manchester United. We can probably like quickly ones. eliminate some. I think we can probably eliminate this. Right. Gone. Yeah. Gone. Easy peasy. Um, right. Let's go to this one. Now this one might Ooh. be a contender. It is a contender. It's an absolute okay. contender. We'll leave it. We'll leave it for a minute. We'll come back to it. Oh um, three. Oh four. Ooh. I think that's the one I've got actually. Is that the one I've got? That's the one I've got with Beckham on mm-hmm. that, that I won, which I've misplaced. <laughs> but yeah, see, it's it's just something that there. There was a generation in there. There's a you know a late class of '92 and a bit of sleeve Beckham, isn't it? Yeah. So it's it's the last years of the class of '92 and the early years of the or the, mid, the middle to late years of class of '92 and the early years of the latter. Um, Ferguson generation so Ronaldo would have just be coming in I'd imagine yeah four yeah sure. probably possibly Van Nistelrooy uh, who we got Cristiano Ronaldo Nistelrooy Forlan Giggs Roy Keane and Solskjaer so yeah, yeah. You, get, you, get a, you get a mix okay um, mm-hmm. we have 98-99 oh I do like that shirt I really do <laughs> they, they're Man United I think Man United have some good, really good options uh, they do 95 96 I like the, it's a stadium. It's got a stadium on it, which I think yeah. is cool. Um, I, I ought to check though that they do. Oh. So I'm, Man United make it hard. Do they? Is there one, one of these? In F- See, that's the away on that one. Yeah, that's uh, the one that they, they famously got rid of because they couldn't win in it. That's the, we, this, we is can, the, this is the you can't win anything with kids era. Yeah. So uh, we have 89 90 from Man United, which is that's very similar to that. Nice that's as well. It's the, it's the same one as the uh, Liverpool. The, the blue, the blue away one's got the got bits in it, hasn't it? Oh no, it's different. This one, the one. third. Ooh, look at that! Look at you that. see. I think we're going to have to turn to the to the away kits and third kits for Manchester United. So that okay, those are your Manchester oh. United options. What what are you what are you thinking? So we've got okay. Let me show you the let me show you the other options. So. This is the away for that season, including the and the third, black and the third, and the goalkeeper. <laughs> so that's 94, 94 I might right? go with. I might go with. I think, do you, can we discount 0304? I think the away and the third are a bit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Let's get rid of We'll do that. Oops. We'll discount that. I've done it again. Right. I it's, think um, for me, I, for me, I think Man United synonymous with Umbro. And I, yep. and I think it's this kit. I think it's that kit there with the zip this on it. This one, because 98, 99. It's, it's the treble winning season, isn't it? Ooh. With the Champions League shirt. The away shirt's not great. But I, and it, but it's the thing like the zip on the collar. Ah, they have an just... FA Cup final shirt. Hang on, let's check the actual FA Cup final mm-hmm. one. A nice little... I mean, it is the regular shirt, isn't it? But... The zips on there. It's got those Umbro chevrons going all the way down. The material's quite rough and ready, from what I remember. Is that the best one though? The okay, I'll, dreams I'll, kit's I'll, nice. I'll, oh shit! This ninety-five, ninety-six. Yeah. Those, so that's your third in your away for ninety-five, ninety-six. And this is your third in your away for ninety eighty-nine, ninety. 93, 94. I've got a thing for that lace neck collar look from Umbro in the 93, 94 season, though, you know. That's the, that's the first ever Premier League year season. Um, Man United had lace neck collar. Villa had lace neck collar. Ipswich had lace neck collar. The Umbro lot were doing it, but I don't like the big MUFC that's throughout the middle. Oh, you don't like the, the blocky MC Escher? Not massively, no. Okay. Like I know it needs to be there. That, so you're not, the, the new you, you're one, fan of the just Norwich. Had it, it a bit nicer, yeah. And the black one was was, was class as well because no one really had black, black away nice. kits. At the time. All right, well, okay. Let's oh, so let's see. So, okay, I was going to say there was a way to do a penalty shootout, but it falls horribly apart on when it's the same team because the way to do a penalty shootout was going to be. If we, if one, if we disagreed, and two, if uh, rather than us having an internal conflict, and two, it would be name players from that team until one of us couldn't name one. But uh, you know, they're, they're, it's the same team pretty much. So okay, what I'll do, I will say okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna weigh in, uh, and I'm gonna choose. 
Okay, uh, what do you what do you think of ninety five, ninety six? I this like is the it. infamous away. The third, I quite like. Third kit's lovely. It's a really, really lovely kit. With the Manchester Manchester badge, Manchester City badge, mm-hmm. Manchester badge in the middle, which I find kind of funny. And the goalkeeper kits are good as well. Oh, it says Wembley nineteen sixty eight in the middle of that shirt. Mm-hmm. And it's got the player names in the uh, in the shirt. Yes. Oh. All right, okay, I, I, I think the third kit for 95, 96 is swaying it for me. But it's blue and white Man United. You can't have blue and white Man United as the... As no, the they've swing. got it as the third here. Yeah, I guess so. Um, I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm, getting, rid of, I'm getting rid of 89, 90. It, it's very right. nice, but... Uh, okay, because, yeah, 89 is, it, for me is the Cup Winners' Cup, almost. Yeah, I know it's the yeah. couple of years after, but... So we've got... we've got Okay, we've got 90, 90, 80, 98, 99, which is the treble. You know what? I think I prefer the treble shirt rather than the zip shirt now Now that I'm looking at it. They had a different but shirt. I like the zip. Thing. I do like the zip shirt. Okay, we'll, we'll go with zip shirt. We'll go with zip shirt. Right. Otherwise, we'll yeah, you know what? It's, right. <laughs> Let's do yeah, it. It's, it's, a, it's a treble. It's a treble. It's a treble winning shirt. The, oh, zip, from, the zip from 2009. Okay, that, uh, that team won the treble. Therefore, that's the best shirt. Which one? The 99 shirt? The, yeah. Uh, 99 shirt. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go with 98, 99, right? Yeah, because that team won the treble, so therefore yeah. that would be we'll we'll class it as that's the best team, right? So that's how okay. We'll do it. Right. Yeah. Yep. Um, next up, Arsenal. Okay, Arsenal. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got we've got Dreamcast. This is the home. Yeah. It's Tierra nice. Isn't it? you get, yeah. You get, you get Sega. Okay. Correct. Right. Berg. So that's so 102. Yeah. Uh okay. I'm going 1920. I think it's oh, it's a different shirt for the FA Cup final. Nah. No? It's it's nice, but it's not it's not Arsenal. Okay. Arsenal's Arsenal for me has a touch of class about it. Like it needs well, that's to be... the normal shirt, but they had yeah. a special one for the final. Um I don't know if it's this following season. Is that reason why? Is this the following season shirt? Not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, they've just worn the mm. next season shirt. A few clubs do that. Okay, right. We'll discount that one then because they cheat and wear the following season shirt. Mm-hmm. Um, this is sixteen seventeen. I don't even remember this shirt with this weird stripe down That's the middle. Giroud and um, Aaron is Ramsey, Giroux. isn't it? Uh, Ertzel Giroud. Yeah, I just don't remember the stripe. No, I don't um, remember the stripe either. But I, but I think we can. Are you happy for me to get rid of that one? I can discount that quite happily. Yeah. Right. We've got JVC. Now we're talking. Now we're talking with Dennis Bergkamp, Ian Wright, Dennis Bergkamp, Ian Wright, Tony Adams, Steve Gunners, Bald, Gunners printed into the back of it. Yeah, Ray Parler. Okay, All right. David that Platt, one's I believe, it. as well at that point. Yeah, possibly. Now the next one's iconic, though. Mm-hmm. Uh, although, which one of them's iconic is going to be questionable because there's two in a row. Mm-hmm. So we got oh four oh five with oh two. Yeah. Which I think is okay. It's got this. It's like a. It's a total football one, isn't it? What do they yeah. call it? Center yeah. aligned. The um, football itself was more iconic than the shirts. I think that yeah. The the strike well, football. Hoops so this football. is oh two oh three. This is the this is the unbeaten season. Yeah. Well, it's not unbeaten in the F. Well, they are unbeaten in it. I was going to say something stupid then. Yeah, I was yeah, saying yeah, it's not unbeaten yeah. in, they the unbeaten in the FA Cup. Cup just by the fact they've won it. <laughs> yeah, you can't go on. You have to go unbeaten in the FA. Cup. They lost three games that season in the FA Cup. And still, we're going to declare the champions. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get rid of the the total football one. Yeah. Um, in we'll favor keep... of this because that yeah. that's your two like do night night template kits. Yeah. Uh, we got okay. We have a few more. We got fourteen fifteen, but I don't think it's that interesting. If I'm honest, nah. I mean it's it's cl- like it's fine. It's Isn't nice. It's like classic, an early nineties, right? late eighties Arsenal. Kits. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Arsenal. Arsenal have won the FA Cup more than anyone, so we've got a few. This, this one. These. These are now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, okay. See, it's Maybe. weird. Uh, I, I don't know about this. I see. I don't have memories of this one. Mm. The but obviously the bruise. You get the, we've got the bruise banana. banana right? Yeah, yeah. It's not even that one. I'm thinking is the is the one one the season before. Well, we've got seventy eight, seventy nine. Mm. Now that's Alan sort Sunderland, of a classic, it? but it, yeah, uh, it's newer than that Sunderland one. I think. No, no, there's a player, Alan Sunderland. I think a Charlie. Oh, Jordan. sorry. I thought yeah. you were saying it was as old, older than that Sunderland one. Yeah. Uh, Alan Hudson, David Graham O'Leary, Ritz, David O'Leary, Liam Brady. Yeah, they go, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think we can discount that. I did want to show yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
There are there are more <laughs> Arsenal to come. Okay, we have we have this one. I don't think it's interesting. That's the mm. FA Cup final no. version. I mean, it's fine. Like, I think it's, it's worse than the shirt. league version. Actually, and I, yeah, I like yeah. the league version. The league version was quite smart. Um, uh, I got, think it's. Got I think it's the Henri shirt at this point. Oh, Seventy one. This, one. this one's even older. Yeah. Uh, but that's sure. Okay, so we, I've, we've narrowed it down to four. I'm going to get rid of that 70 71 one as well. Oh, that, so we have got that Arsenal team, those Dreamcast. Yeah, Lungberg with his red hair. Perez, Bergkamp. Camp. Do you think there was another year where they won the FA Cup? No, I think they were they were flying in the league at that point. Uh, they haven't won it more than anyone, and I haven't shown you 14 of them, but they did win a load old. 92 mm. and 97. No, so 92. there isn't another one. Maybe yeah, 92. JVC on the front. 92 is the 92 is that's the 97 one is 92 is the other JVC one yeah the Bruce Banani yeah no it's not that one though this is this is this is this is 92 yeah that's that's the that's the year that they had the the fake oh hang on behind 92, the goal 92 93 I might have the wrong year what year did they win uh 90 no no 92 93 that's okay right what did I they think... have sorry they had uh I think for speed, yeah. I think for speed, I think it's going to be for me between Henri and the Invincibles. Okay, or, I'm going to say no to the Invincibles one. Or it's Tony Adams and David Platt and Dennis okay. Camp in the old Nike. Well, that shirt. could be it. Well, that could be any any of the. I think all I know, of them. I know. Those players. Uh, uh, okay, let's go one, for this one. That one, not. This one, which I think had a one oh, as well. No. Right, okay. I'm gonna get rid of I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of Invincibles. I think that's more that's a, a good Premier League achievement in terms of kits. It's kind of a boring Arsenal kit. They had some good O2 ones. O2 is iconic mm. with them, but I think I think these these old like if you were to if you were to get one, okay, let's go for the away kits. So you've got on this one, you've got the gold Sega. Yeah. On 97 98, you get okay. I think 97 98 loses it on the away kit. I oh, see, I quite like that one. It looks like a rugby shirt. Um, and then 92 93 probably wins it. On the away yeah, kit. yeah, I think, it does. I think, right, I think we've already got that temp that sort of era of, of Adidas. We've already got the stripes going across from, from okay, yeah, yeah, for the top to get one. a similar kind of vibe with Arsenal. Yeah, it's iconic, it's lovely. Um, I don't think this one is as iconic. Really this this home. I think the no, away I think is. The away kit is. The I think they is... did they win the title in the away as well. I, I think know. they, they win they the won the title at Liverpool wearing... wearing yellow, but not the Bruce Banana kit, I believe. Okay. Um right, I'm happy I'm happy for you to let you you pick this one because I, I picked the Man United one. Ooh, right. I'm between. gonna keep okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the Sega Dreamcast one. Right. Yeah. Next team. Um this one we should be quicker on. We, we, yeah, they were, none of them have got as many as though. We got the big ones out of the way. Uh, yeah. Manchester City, 1920, 22, 23, or 10, 11. They're not going to get very far <laughs> compared to the others. Uh, I, I think, actually, I, I, I am Last okay. season was quite maybe. smart. I like the little trim on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Let's go with that. I yeah. think it's all right. Uh, so let's go with... Yeah, better kids in the nineties, but that, yeah, that's, that's, that's smart enough. The trim is nice. The FA Cup final version, which has way too much writing on it, but okay, yeah. Cool. Um, let me check. They didn't wear different ones in the. That's yeah. They wore a black one for the EFL Cup final. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Okay, right. Oh, hang on. Did they have a different final shirt? They did. Right. This was the. I oh, know. I think it's the same. It's just the lighting. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with that for Man City. Okay. Uh, one other team. Oh, sorry. Two other teams have won more than one. Tottenham. Uh, one of which. No. Uh, Tottenham. Tottenham is a long time won ago. A lot of they have won one. They have. But I think. I th don't know where my cutoff is. Oh, okay. Roughly, roughly with about the invention of kits. So Spurs. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have got one. And it's in the 70s, I think. Uh, we'll come to it. But the, for two, oh, we've got Everton. Mm-hmm. 1994, 1995. That's popped right out, isn't it? Or we've got Everton, 83, 84. Oh, I am a fan of that. Peter Reid wore that kit. Kevin Richardson and David Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, Lecoq Sportif. I'm going with yeah. that one. You want the you want the Lecoq Sportif one with the EFC as the as the badge? I do. Okay, I do. All right. 
But I do so like the, the other Umbro one, though. But I think it's just nice to have something a little bit different. Right. And then they used that as an inspiration kit a couple of years ago, didn't they? The... Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're taking that for Everton. Right. Mm-hmm. One final team with multiple. Um, again, I don't think they're they're a good contender, but uh, we've got Chelsea. Um, I'm, mm. I probably am going to discount this one straight away. It's not particularly interesting. Yeah. Uh, this one may be a bit better. A bit more iconic, isn't it? Yeah. The trouble is, I'm like, oh, that's Drogba. But then I see that for about five of these Chelsea shirts. Okay? Yeah. Oh, that's Drogba. Um, Carvalho. Have, yeah. Uh, we've got, there's the 11 12 one. That's the Torres era, isn't it? Yeah, that's Torres and Drogba as well. I think Drogba mm-hmm. came back in this one. Yeah. I think they've got some nicer ways in that one as well. I'm going gonna, gonna to get rid of that first Chelsea one. Yeah. Because I think some of yours are better. Uh, this is 2010, uh, where it's like body armor. This is where they beat Portsmouth with yeah. a zip up collar. Uh, no, we don't want we don't yeah. want one where they beat Portsmouth. Uh, oh seven, oh sorry, oh eight, oh nine, which is the year before Portsmouth won. That's my reference mm. for everything, by the way. Yeah, what year mm. Portsmouth won. <laughs> what year we were in the final, and what year we won it? Um, this one's got like a nice little gold trim on it. That that yeah. seems Lampard to me. That yeah, um, it does. Yeah, that also says Drogba. Definitely says Drogba. Yeah, Drogba. I, I mean, yeah. I guess those guys were at Chelsea for so long. Yeah, uh, and then we got we got ninety nine. Looks really weird. Actually, you know what? I might go with this. This is Gus Poirier. Isn't it? Not, yeah, yeah, but there's one more. There's Roberto one more. I think I think you're going to choose the last one, which is 96. Oh, is it the Rude Hullet one? Yeah. There's this one. It's this one, definitely. <laughs> Viali, Rude Hullet, Frank again. Oh, I've, I've told you about my... Uh... Mm-hmm. Check this out. That's amazing. I got sent this with, with <laughs> one of my football shirts from Football Shirts 101. Viali and... I had to check with you because I was like... Because Viali in this picture, he has like... I was like, that's Viali, but he has a really... I remember him having that thin pencil moustache, but when I... like, I thought, I'm just going to double check. And all the pictures of him otherwise, he has a much thicker moustache. So he must have styled it like that. We, of course, with Vinnie Jones, who is also going to feature. Yeah. Um, very shortly, very soon, we'll see Mr. Vinnie Jones. Well, we're going with this Chelsea one, yeah? Yeah, what's the away kits for that year? Is that the, is that the grey, gold, grey and orange one? No, it's not. It's the yellow one, isn't it? Yeah, the yellow. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, let me mix these up so that the big teams mm-hmm. aren't playing. Oops. Of course, it's got that, that commentary one where they had to wear that as they wear as the shirt one, yeah, because they'd forgotten the awake it, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. They Okay, mm-hmm. mix everything up a little so we get... Yeah. Right. So, we're going to start. We're now into the round of 16, which is the... Yeah, round of 16. Fifth, sixth round. FA Cup yeah. sixth round. Okay, FA Cup sixth round. This is the oldest one still on the list. Actually, it is a bit older than that. Um, that Sunder one. Actually, I might be even be cheating on this one. No, mm-hmm. here we go. Leeds United. Yeah, against. Lost, lost to Sunderland the following year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Against that when, we, when we've ended up with a derby against Manchester United at 98-99. What, what do we say? I'm, I'm going with Manchester United. The Leeds is nice. I mean, it's, but it does just look like a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. Because it's an yeah. old shirt, right? Like, if you had that, you'd be like, this is a piece and, of history. And they disrespected Brian Clough. So, <laughs> just to get some leads. That was late, in the comments surely, later, than, <laughs> later than that, surely. Yeah. Um, right, so Leeds knocked out by Manchester United. Right, next round, mm-hmm. Manchester United. Well, Manchester United are the through. Could they mm-hmm. be facing this team in the next round? Coventry City, who they are playing Ooh. tomorrow in real life. Yeah. Although, by the time this goes out, everyone will know the result. Um, they've just redone this shirt, by the way, as a mm. score draw. Um, but it has the actually weirdly. I'm trying to think if the score draw version has well, there's no manufacturer on this. No, it's not, is there? So it's interesting. So I think the score draw version, who makes it even? Uh so this is 8687, triple S sport. Cyril Regis. Oh, there is, yeah, triple S sport, it's there. But the FA Cup version doesn't have it because they replace it with the, that. So that's it's probably on, how on score draw. It's on the, um, the top yeah, it's there, up there. On the shoulders, yeah. But that's actually quite good for score draw to get away with because they can just be like, eh, it was yeah. never there anyway. <laughs> so I've, I've I've been seeing a lot of these around. Um, I, I love I love this as an, as an underdog as well. Of course, I love it. Of course, I love it. It's retro. It's got yeah. stripes with little mini pin stripes over the over the uh, next to it as well. It's got a good V neck collar. It's got a long sleeve option. I like it, but the but oh, the red numbering. red numbers as well. <laughs> but it's not the best ever Coventry kit. That's the only problem I've got with it. No, it's definitely not. Like it's not when they do the remakes of them. This isn't normally the one that, that they doesn't remake. scream Coventry City to me. It's not. It's not sky blue. Yeah. Um. 
Well, okay, we need the opponent. Uh, oh, the opponent well, is it was Arsenal, Tottenham, wasn't it? Was it Arsenal, no, was Arsenal. It? We didn't. I didn't, hmm. I didn't give you. I didn't give you one. Oh, yet. sorry. I, I meant in real life. I was like, the oh, person. well, <laughs> in, the, in the, the time, yes. Um, so, are we? Are we sticking Arsenal through? I thought we we a little bit of. You know, we, yeah, the, I think the Coventry's so. good. Well, that's but, nice though. But look at the color on that away. Oh, you that's know what? A, that that, that that's, away that's actually ben- gives me. You know what? No. Am I going to put my look at look at how that sponsor is stitched on? <laughs> yeah, it's so crap. I love it. <laughs> the color is also um, penny bananas. It's penny not that. Bananas. It's, it's it's urine is what it is, isn't it? It's <laughs> And I know how uncomfortable that shirt would have been, and have to have the sponsor ironed on to it as well, which would melt part of the shirt. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't. Like you, you know how much I love this, right? But you know that I'm going to have to just say Arsenal. Uh, the Arsenal, all right, the Arsenal's good. I think we got to get like, yeah. We, all right, what? do those two yellow, two yellow shirts against each other? Which one's the best? So I'm telling you, it's Arsenal. Coventry. <laughs> That's Coventry. I'm still going with the Arsenal. I like because the Arsenal one, I think it's like a goldy yellow, which I quite like. Because mm. that's yellow actually around the badge. It's a weird, weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So weird. Arsenal's Arsenal's gold, gold and Coventry is dehydrated urine. So <laughs> all right, I'm sticking, I'm sticking Arsenal through. But right, the, Arsenal the, go I think Arsenal Coventry may be a bit unfair there. Um right, the other tough one. Draw, this tough year, draw. So Manchester United and Coventry we've had already. Uh, but this year's FA Cup final will have Man City and this is last year's winners as well mm-hmm. uh, we've already looked at it but they are going to be up against um, let's see Ipswich Town landslide victory for Ipswich Town <laughs> it's just 1977 1978 it's a very ba- it looks like a France shirt mm-hmm. um, okay it's classic. fine it's a classic look like there's just no airs or graces about it Sorry, it's, a, it's a classic. Look at the away kit as well. Look how simplistically beautiful that away kit is. Yeah, I know you, know, you love a classic. All right. Yeah. This one's uh, a little bit unusual, the next one. Mm-hmm. West Ham, 1980. Davenport, oh, no, Admiral kit, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Admiral. Look at that badge. Mm-hmm. Look at the material as well. That yeah. is like, but that's like, that. You, you would buy polo shirts made of that material now, but not a football shirt. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Like you, you, they, all they've did was they've gone to Top Man, bought a, a sort of woolly jump, woolly woolly top, and stitched a hammer's badge on it. Yeah, yeah. It's like that I, really rough polo shirt material. I like as well. it. I do like it. I must have. I do like it. All right. Okay. So there's there's the West Ham. Wait. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a. Let me just get that other picture because the coloring looks interesting. Oh, there's my internet died. It doesn't want to load West Ham for me anymore. Um, oh, anyway, here we go. Mm-hmm. I think that's just the colouring of the photograph, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Um, right. right. Yeah. So West Ham. Oh, that's the away, by the way. Admiral down, long well. sleeve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. West Ham and their opponents are a oh, team. Another team we haven't seen yet. Leicester City, twenty twenty one. Interesting that it's got a gold trim on it already. Like, yeah. I guess it's a nice Leicester kit. It is a nice Leicester kit. It's a nice Leicester kit. But I just, I don't know. I think that the trim, the trim stands out. The trim is lovely. What it feels like is it feels like a kit that was designed for the MLS. Yeah. was then yeah. given to Leicester. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, Charlotte, the Charlotte Beaverbrooks didn't get the kit. So Leicester City did. Um <laughs> But I think, and the way it's lovely as well, I think West Ham wins. I, I love Ham how, that is definitely, I love that MLS comparison. It does feel very MLS. But oh, it, like it's the, three like cracking that. Leicester kits though. They were all done Tiny really, really nicely. Like that's again, you know, that's the, the Milwaukee, Milwaukee Chevrons. They're, they're <laughs> uh, this was the, F- oh, they wore, they wore that in the, F- oh, we've yeah. got to go with what they wore in the FA Cup final. Oh, does that change right. your... Oh, but hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I would have taken Thailand Smiles With You mm-hmm. on that third kit. But we don't get that on the FA Cup final. We get King Power. Nah, it's the, which... it's the Portland King Pins. So, no. Yeah. I think this we're ruined by a sponsor in a way. There's too right, so we... many, isn't it? These FA Cup yeah. shirts, they're all like littered with sponsors. It's just too much. Right, West Ham are through. 
Yeah. Um, unlike in midweek. Right. Sorry to any West Ham fans. Mm. Everton is back. So we, this is the mm. Everton that we saw. And they are up against... We have an, an, another new team that we haven't seen yet. And, 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 can you, actually, I'll see if you can guess who we haven't seen yet. I've had a couple winners. Yeah, there are... I'll tell you, there are four teams we've not seen yet. Five teams we've not seen yet. Well, like, so, well, last that, 40 years. Well, Tottenham won it in 91, didn't they? Yes, yeah, so Spurs. You're yeah, saying that they're not going to... It's not going to be Spurs. No, no. Um, Forest? Did they ever win the FA Cup? Villa? Not recently. Have they ever won it in the 40 years? No. No. All right, this wasn't uh, even that long ago. 2012, 2013. 2012. Oh, Wigan. Wigan Athletic. Oh, Everton have beaten Wigan. <laughs> yeah, they're out. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> much, much, they got relegated that season as well. Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, I tell you what. It was a, it was a great achievement, like way. but no. 12 bets ruins it. No. But Everton is through. Right, next mm-hmm. one. Uh, the next one is the winner of the of the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good showing. Good showing so far in the competition. Yeah, I, like, I mean, unbiased. I don't think it's a bad shirt. It's good. I've, yeah. I, it's like it's not the best, but it, I, I like the gold bits on it. I like that the badge is gold. Uh, obviously, I've got a bit of extra context that like I really like the material mm-hmm. of it. Uh, the it's not a dodgy sponsor, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a fine sponsor. We've had better sponsors, but. Mm-hmm. Not, we, we could have had worse um, and they are up against uh, the team that then pilfered everyone from from this Portsmouth team Spurs 1990 I'm sorry it's mate it's a Hummel one I'm sorry are you going for Spurs are you they oh. didn't wear that shirt though did they in the final oh, what did they wear they had Umbro in the final oh did they and wear the following season shirt yes go for they it. did and oh here we go that's, then that's, and that's a better shirt oh you like this one I the do. Umbro one I do like this yeah is that because you're basically wearing that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, 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 it's the little, the little, the little uh, touch on the sleeves where it says Spurs. Um, yeah, I can see and then there. the Wait, shorts were like, nice. It was what it was was I remember this because this was obviously Gascoigne era. Gascoigne, of course, didn't play uh, because he injured himself in. Oh, did he play in the final? Yes, he came off in the final. This is the Gascoigne final uh, when he does his knee, and it was the time when. Clubs were going from short shorts to long shorts. So the Tottenham turned up in these long shorts and it just looked a bit odd. But then they had the, they had navy blue socks as well. And it was just a really classic look. Um, I know Spurs have, have they always, it's always that thing of what can you do with just a plain white shirt? Maybe I was an impressionable youngster at the time, but it just looked like it stood out. And then the away kit, I remember, was was like, was it yellow? Yeah, yellow. With just like a big boom on the side. No, that that's the season after though. So yeah. that's like they yeah, would have so, worn. So this was this was the time when clubs would wear the next season's kit on the last day of the season the at final. home. Oh yeah. But yeah. at home you'd wear the last next season's kit. But then of course everyone was like, You we you're changing like manufacturers all the time now. So um those Hummel kits though, I mean, of course I'm gonna say the Hummel kits are amazing, but I, I quite like I like that Spurs kit, I must admit. This one's like a bit boring, it. actually. It is. It is. It is a bit boring. But as Hummel kits go, it's the home's yeah, better. As far as Hummel kits go, it's boring. Um, but I think that the um, yeah, I think. The, if, oh no! Actually, you get there is a design. There is a print. Yes, yeah, it, it says Hummel. Um, it's within lost it. in the uh, yeah. It's lost on the white. But it's lost on the uh, picture. Yeah. Let's see if we can. Is the yellow the same? Yeah, it will be. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, Sunderland yeah. had it as well. With with oh no, theirs was like red and white stripes, and it was blue for the way kit. It's Hummel inside. Yeah, you can just about make it out there. There's there's an M. Almost looks woollen, doesn't it? E. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think, yeah, I think, this, I think the Spurs Umbro kit. You, you're making me do it, right? Okay, we'll get rid of oh, that's a, so that's so a sorry, centre. Mate. What was it? What it was? Uh... Was it Tom FM? We said we liked the sort of the centre alignments going through. Yeah, but what did Yuri say last week? Was it the badge above the? It was the badge above the spot, the manufacturer or below it. No, he likes the Ram. manufacturer above. Yeah, yeah, he didn't like. He uh, room one, I wanted it below. Okay, we're safe. Yes, we're safe. Um, okay, right. Okay, oh, so the way to do a penalty shootout would be to name uh, players from those teams. But okay, we go. Let's go we're, for we're, it. I 
Oh, I mean, you're going against the Portsmouth 2008 team. I could probably true. I, I, true. Although 19, all right. I tell you what, Spurs, you, you name you name from the Tottenham side. I'll name from I'll, the Portsmouth I'll, side. I'll, I'll 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 be I'll be fair, and, and and I'll give I'll give you I'll remain impartial on this one, and I'll give you a. I did cut out Sunderland at the start, so I'll give you I'll give you Mate, I'll let Spurs it, go through. It's it's unfortunate you've come up, you've come up against a difficult opponent. Again, it's a tough it's a tough <laughs> tie. If you'd have come up against Wigan, you'd be sailing through. Even Man City, you'd be sailing through. So we're going, but we. I need next seasons, don't I? I need. So I need. Yeah. Uh, it's just doors, isn't it? Nope. Which one is it? Ninety-one. That's right. That's the home kit for that one. Oops. Ninety-two. Yeah. That, yeah, that one. that one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, so right. Some good knowledge because I would have stuck with the other one. Right. Mm. We're back. Okay. So we're back to. Li- we're not back to Liverpool. We've got Liverpool against mm-hmm. their first opponent. So we've gone with the candy Liverpool with the stripes on the sleeve, mm-hmm. and they are up against the crazy gang. 87, 88, Ooh. Wimbledon. Now, I think they've got a different final shirt, actually. Uh, yes. Carl's well, sponsor, it's it's it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of funny that they're up against Liverpool with a Carlsberg sponsor. Yeah. <sighs> there he is. Good old Vinny. There he is. Where? He must have been at Wimbledon for quite some time. He was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, I remember him still there in like 98. Like I think it's a cracking Wimbledon shirt. I do think it's a cracking Wimbledon shirt, and of course it's it is iconic. And of course the club, you know, don't exist in in the form that they that they were anymore. Again, it falls down for me as not being the best Wimbledon shirt ever. Uh, like I think if it wasn't an FA Cup winning shirt, you wouldn't remake that, would you? No, no, that's you the way you I put just it. Actually, that maybe, I think the Carlsberg yeah. sponsor is better. Mm, yeah i think with yeah. that sponsor i think you're like oh yeah that's like non-league well, i mean the badge is with the badge is like almost on the shoulder uh think, which is very comparing weird wearing like retro blue kits and i know we're not necessarily saying that the, the draw is going to be where it is but if that came up against everton the lecoq yeah. sportif it's getting it's getting beaten like it's not got that straight away about it but then if i said to you right show me the kit that's that's got tiny computers on the front effing a coco era dean holdsworth like you crazy the, the 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 premier league crazy gang you'd be yeah all right cool that's brilliant that's that's fantastic they've got the whole kits that are a little bit more iconic that welsh away kit is brilliant by the way as well they had uh, the green on the red there on the badge for a, for a small like, color blindness side, that's yeah. going to really hurt. You, well, right? I, I mean, that's I don't know if it is that what that's causing it. Like, obviously, mm. I can see it, but it's like it really messes with the contrast in my eyes. I don't, yeah. But I think I think that's like a normal thing. I don't think that's a color blind thing. I think that is like mm. a don't put green on red thing, isn't it? Red and green should never be seen without a color in between. That's what they say. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so they put a white sponsor on. <laughs> uh, right. We, so uh, Liverpool makes it to the next round. Yeah, they get their retribution. I mean, for that cup final. Yeah, they had. They had. A, there were a lot of good Liverpool shirts that we cut earlier, so yeah. it's probably only fair. Right. The next one. Oh, don't do it to me, Tony. Southampton. That's Ooh, the okay. Right now, uh, there, I have gone with. It's, it's the same ish. It's the same thing as the Spurs one. Mm-hmm. So this is not the. This is uh, they did not win. I think they won in seventy six. Right, um, okay. Yeah, they, they won in seventy six. But this is the seventy seven away kit. Yeah. Which, and I'd, so that no, that's the home from the season after. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have FA Cup winners on it with a horribly printed badge. Yeah. Um, so if I can get 76, sorry, 75, 76. Yeah, 75, 76, you can't even look. That looks do like you want to make it easy for your side? Who, who are they playing? They are playing Chelsea. It's a win for Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I, and that's only because I can see Rude Hullet in that shirt and I can't see him in the Southampton shirt. So. No, no, you can see... Probably no, not even Matt. Lived this a long time ago, seventies. Who knows? Uh, right, we are down to our, if I've calculated it right, semi-finals. Yep, mm-hmm. quarterfinals, quarterfinals, quarterfinals. Oh, this is a classic. Right, actually, I'm going to mix them up so we don't. Here we go. All right, we're going to go. Manchester United, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Mm-hmm. Spurs. Ooh, they're going to get. They're going to get tough. Ooh. 
you reckon there's anyone who wore both? I'm trying to think of anyone who wore both. Mm, I don't think Barnby? so. Nick Barnby? Barnby played for Man United, he didn't, did he? I mean, no, he didn't know. Sheringham? Don't think he wore that that Tottenham shirt, though. He played for mm. Tottenham later on in his career, obviously. Let's just see some players here. Lineker, Barnby, Mabbott, mm. Allen, Vinny Samways yeah. and David Howes. Could have been Gascoigne if he'd have played his cards, right? Um... Oh, is that United shirt better than the Tottenham one? If I had money, what would I what would I spend my money on? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't get over, but no, no, no. But I'm just, I'm just trying to think. Like that's the only way I can think about now. If I if I had to spend the money, it's Gary Lineker or David Beckham, isn't it? Really, this is a replica. Oh, they no, they no, 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 that, that yeah, was yeah. what the labels looked like back yeah, in the day. Replica it said kit. replica kit. Yeah. You get like a. Is it the same print in as in your one right now? Can't remember. Yeah, no, no you it's got like Chev, your chevrons. Yeah, it's a THFC chevrons, and it's like Umbro. Oh, it does. Yeah. Little, um, um, so you can't I judge prefer, that one on the away. That's I think the away. I prefer flight. the Tottenham one, but the United one maybe. Do we not Man United out? It's Umbro. Do, do we want here. to see? United versus Liverpool at some point. What would I rather see? Uh, <laughs> Does the black? Th- oh, actually, the black third is kind of boring for that season. Yeah, I don't really like the black one. I like the the lime, the, the sort of vault green on it. I don't know, Sai. Where 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 are you going with it? Mm, I don't know. I, part of me saying like Spurs wearing the following season shirt is a little bit cheaty. But then um, United had like nine different shirts that season. The, the, that's true. The Champions League shirt, but then it is that Champions League. It is that travel winning team. It is a treble winning team. But we're going we're going on the shirt. I think okay, tell you what. They are both fun, bro. Yeah. Uh all right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Um all right, we'll do we'll do a uh we'll we'll, we'll do a penalty shootout. We'll, we'll okay. have one. Right. Uh you can take on Spurs cause, just because you probably remember that a little bit better than me. And also because okay. I read it. Also because I read them a minute ago and I didn't read the Man United ones. Yeah. Um, so if you open the Man United 1999 team and I'll open up the Spurs team here. So if you get it open, uh, what is it? Spurs 1992 FA Cup final. Yeah. Okay. So if I find, and we'll t- you got you got a name. So I've got a name five, and you've got a name five. You'll um, get five quicker than I will. I, I, I guarantee you. Look at this. Right. All right. Okay. Uh, do you want to take the first penalty or not? <sighs> yeah. Go on. Uh, Eric Torstvet. Yeah, in goal. Yeah, okay. So you, you you've, you've knocked one away. <laughs> you got to do a little Emmy Martinez like jig, get your yeah. leg for it. Um, right, uh, David Beckham. Uh, David Beckham played for Manchester United. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but there's a, the, the trouble is there's a chance that, that players well. didn't. Yes. <laughs> there's a chance that players didn't play in the match though. Like I could have said Oli, and I don't know if. He oh, did he play in the match? match. You want, or you want the actual cup final? Yeah. Team? If you oh. open the cup final, if you open oh. cup final on Wikipedia, it will give it to you. Yeah, because that that's going to be the challenge of Manchester United. There could have been an injury or something to anyone. Oh yeah, um, of course. Well, they played. Well, so they played Newcastle. I'm uh, sure Beckham, Beckham played. did play. Beckham did. Play. All right. Okay. Second penalty for you. Um, Gary Mabbott. Gary Mabbott did play centre back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, two two goals up. Uh, I am going to go for Roy Keane. Roy Keane did play. Yeah, he was captain okay. that day. Okay, good. Um, Gary Lineker. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's up there. Centre forward. Mm-hmm. Three up. See, I've got a choice. I've got a choice about four strikers in that team. Um, I, I could, I'm not saying it, but I could go Sheringham. I could go Solskjaer. I could go Dwight York. I could go Andy Cole, I think. Um, Cantona had gone by then. I could go for someone in defence. We'll go for Gary Neville. Gary Neville did play. Okay, good, good. Right. Oh, I'm going to go with... <laughs> Start to already crumble a little bit. There's a bit. There's one big I, one you haven't got. I want to say... Oh, did... Now, did he play or did he... Did Naeem play for Tottenham at that point? He came on as a substitute. Yeah. 17 minutes in. Yeah, yeah. He came on. <laughs> right. That's a good one. Um, who do I go for now? Uh, see, like, it's just in my head. I'm thinking, like, 
David May, but there's probably a chance he didn't play in that match, or you know, like for whatever reason. Well, like the defenders, the defenders were switching around by then. Stam, I don't think it was in by then. I don't think. Oh, uh, oh, well, of course, we'll go for the goalkeeper, which um, is uh, the date Schmeichel, Peter Schmeichel. Peter Schmeichel is in goal. Absolutely, yeah, probably one of his last seasons before he was going to play. Oh no, he probably had a couple more in him. I'm going to go with someone that I think might not have played. This might be. This might. Be, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Paul Stewart. Did he yeah, yeah, centre mid. Yeah, Did he sell mid? yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're five for five. Um, right, I'm going to have to start going with some strikes. I'm going to go with Solskjaer. Solskjaer started, yes. He started, okay. Because I know yeah. he didn't start the Champions League, did he? No, no, no. He famously came on as a sub. Um, yeah. There's a big one you haven't got. We're, we're Just in, in we're Edinburgh. In... Yep, left back. Oh. You're not... I, 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 I was a couple of years later. I'd be out for one, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, we're going to go for Teddy Sheringham for another one for me. Teddy Sheringham came on as a substitute for the injured okay. Roy Keane. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, that's an interesting sub. Um, well, Gascoigne started that match, didn't he? You haven't said Gascoigne. No, so I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So Gascoigne started for Tottenham. Yeah, Gascoigne. He yeah. did then come off. So he did. He was definitely there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Gascoigne. He got replaced by Neem. Um Right. See, this is where I'm going to get caught out now. Because the, the chances of me saying someone who, who didn't play for whatever reason, I said showing him, didn't I? And Solskjaer. Yes. So we'll go yeah. for um, oh Ryan Giggs. Giggs did play. Okay, Giggs did play. <laughs> oh no, I'm on a blank. I'm on a mind blank now. Um, <laughs> who else played? You've done exceedingly well. I don't think like you've you've certainly uh Oh I'm I'm now I've now got about three different eras of Tottenham players and going like <laughs> who and then I've got some players who clearly never played for Tottenham at do you, all. Do you reckon you could do the manager? Well the manager was um who was the I won't count manager for me, but I'll let you have manager no, if you get him. The manager would have been Was the manager George Graham? No, Venables. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay, well, that's very, very kind of you. That doesn't help yeah, me out for the next right. one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, but the trouble is I'm, I'm going to get caught out here somewhere because I've, I'm starting to think the centre-backs, and they did change around this period. Go for Dennis Irwin. He's probably done, isn't he? It hits the post and goes wide. Oh, when did Dennis <laughs> Irwin finish? Dennis Irwin. I don't know, but he didn't feature. He didn't feature in the cup final. Probably about six years out of date. Uh, Dennis Irwin. Oh, he was still at Man United in 2002. Yeah, he played, didn't he play played 29 final. times that season and didn't play the final. Potentially injured, maybe. Oh. Um, Wait, was it 98, 99? No, 99, 2000. Uh, yeah, 99, 2000 season, isn't it? No. Yeah. 98, 99. 98, 99, yeah. Hey, you've, you've won. I'll give you, you've won. Spurs Did I? One. Yeah, yeah. My, my my next guess was gonna be Andy Sinton. <laughs> so uh, yeah, then you're, you're out. I'm sure you play for QPR. I've got to check the FA Cup now. Final. New, who, beat Newcastle two 0 Skulls, of course. So who who did I? Who could I add? I could so add. It was Skulls. Ronnie Yon and David May at centre back. It was. Oh, I was going to say was... David May, but I, David May was like a bit part player, and I would have yeah. thought like. I would have thought Yapstan Dennis came on as a substitute for Paul Scholes. Oh, see, I thought Yapstan was a uh, the Yapstan was another one in my head, but I would have thought him in later. Phil Neville could have been both in there. Neville brothers. Again, yeah. Did they both, they both play? Played. Did Phil yeah. start? And then I and guess then, the other one I missed was um oh, Scholes. Ronnie, Ronnie Johnson. Scholes, Ronnie Johnson, Johnson Scholes, Scholes, yeah. And Dwight and York. The, I didn't say Dwight York because I he was on the bench. He did come on though. He oh. came on for Andy Cole. So the only okay. player that didn't come on, the two players that didn't come off the bench, yes, but oh, I didn't say, I and didn't Ramon say Van Andy der Howe. Because I'd gone Solskjaer showing him, I didn't go for Cole or York because I didn't know yeah. which one of them played. Did they both play, Cole and York? They all came on, yeah. Oh, yeah. I could have gone for any four, of them. All four of them came, were on. <laughs> that was me risking it on Dennis Irwin. Uh, 
I can't believe Dennis Irwin didn't play, but oh well. Yeah, who else could I have had for the Tottenham team? But right, for, so for I, was, I thought you would have got the um, gas coin, but yeah, he did. He came. He, I mean, you knew he came off, so good night. You're right. You, you had Thorstead, Justin Edinburgh. You had uh, Pat Van der How. Pat Van der How. Um, Steve Sedgley. Oh yeah. David Howes. David Howes. Rabbit, Paul Stewart. Uh, Gascoigne. Vinny Samways. Yes. Gary Lineker, Paul Allen, Paul Walsh, and Naeem. Paul Allen and Paul Walsh, yeah, yeah. it could have been, yeah, yeah. Oh, against right. against well, the Forest team with Stuart Pearce, Des Walker, Roy Keane, Nigel Clough, Gary Charles, Lee Glover, Brian Laws. Brian Clough is the manager. Mm-hmm. Um, playing his own son. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so who went through? Spurs went through. Spurs went through on penalties. Right. Okay. Oh, what, okay. One. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, don't make us go penalties on this. <laughs> Everton 1972 <laughs> or Ipswich 1977. Sorry, Everton 93 or Ipswich 77. I think it's got to be Everton, right? I think Everton's Everton. winning that. I'll the Ipswich one's winning. fine, but it's just a template, really. I mean, it's not probably as well, it probably was a template at the time, but yeah, okay. All right. Oh, interesting one. West Ham mm-hmm. against Liverpool. This might go to penalties, you know. Okay. <laughs> Who's taking on West Ham 1979? I'll go West Ham. I'll go the West Ham team because this this Liverpool, this is the Liverpool team from 92 that beat Sunderland, isn't it? So I shouldn't really be... I think I could probably only name two. Uh, no, I probably can't even name two. I'd probably only name one. I'm assuming Dalglish was done by then, wasn't he? So I'm, I'm probably going thinking Ian Rush. Same. Ian Rush and... Hang on, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. You can, you can, uh, you can call it. So Ian I'm going to go with. Oh, you got you going for a West Ham? Okay, we actually doing it. West Ham. We're going to have to. We have to. Right. I think, 19... I think I know who's. 80 FA Cup final. Okay. 1980 FA Cup final. Oh, oh okay. Actually, from it, yeah. You got loads you to pick, pick from. You might actually get some of these. I might have got some, well. I wouldn't have got them because I wouldn't have guessed that they'd. Have, I didn't knew they played for West Ham, but I wouldn't have got. Wendy, there's there's a couple them. of Sunderland players I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> this is the thing too. Got finally, yeah. I'm going. Who the hell's David Rush? <laughs> <laughs> David uh, Rush. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Right, go on then. I kicked off the first one. You kick off this one. All right, I'll start with Ian Rush. Ian Rush, top corner, straight through. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go Trevor Brooking. Yeah, yeah, you're in. Yeah. <laughs> Put it away nicely. And then 1990. See, this is this is before me, you see, by a few years. Even when oh, I think yeah, like even the, the West Ham team's even before me. Just. Well, that's true, yeah. <laughs> but even like thinking about who might have been in the team later. There's a couple of interesting tr- ones on there. Yeah, I'm sure there is. The trouble with Liverpool is they were sort of very quiet. This is sort of like this is like their their final hurrah until they won the Champions League and then they did nothing for another 10 years yeah um, you know they were just always sort of there mm. and like like it's going to be uh, I'm, I, all I can think is players that were there in like early 2000s now I was like Haman or someone um, and I got to think all the way back to the 90s there's a couple of players who you would John Barnes John Barnes it's high and wide I'm afraid oh well oh I can't remember. Far- he did play for Liverpool, right? Uh, he did actually. He was, he was on the bench. Did he come on? Did he come on? That's the question. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. If you load up the final on Wikipedia, that's, it should that's, that's what I've got. Yeah. Ah, okay. It should say which ones came on. If it doesn't say, oh, there were no substitutes. Were there substitutes? No, there were substitutes. There was two there substitutes. Were... Yeah. Um, he did not come on. Oh. He, wasn't, uh, he, he was part of the FA Cup. Well, basically, he was part of the squad, but he didn't. He wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, he wasn't named on the bench either, Ooh. so he wasn't part of the uh, the match day thirteen as it was back then. Damn! Oh, thirteen. Yeah. Oh, only mm-hmm. only two subs. Okay, only two subs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. Okay. So we've had one blazed door high and wide. Oh, I, was I, good, with, I actually knew someone in the team as well. I oh, went man. with uh, you did Trevor Brookin first. first. The next one, I'm going to go for Bobby Moore and hope that he's still at West Ham at this point. What, in 1980? Uh, actually, no, that's all right. That's, yeah, that's fair. Um, no. No? Oh, no. saved. Saved. Uh, 
now I'm just trying to think like Liverpool. Um, oh, did they have? Oh, I'm trying to think now. What's his name? Uh, where would see Trevor Francis was like Birmingham, wasn't he? If Trevor Francis at any point, probably not. Well, well off, aren't I? <laughs> you, you, you've, you've, you've put that out of the stadium. That's not I, I, that. I, I, I'm not even thinking of Trevor Francis. I'm fi- I know who I'm thinking of, and I can't remember his name. Okay, I'm going to go with Frank McAvenny. No, no. Oh. <laughs> this is going to be this is going to be a sudden death as we name someone who's played for either his club. I, I'm going to say I think he's well retired by this point, but I'm going to say I think he might even be the manager, Kenny Dalglish. No. <laughs> Oh, he's well gone, isn't he? He's like seventies, yeah. Well, he did stay for a stupid long time. Yeah, some reason yeah, yeah. I remember him like he went being back, obviously with he was he was the manager during the Hillsborough season, wasn't he? Um, oh, I think I've got one. Then now. Returned later. Have I? Um, I'm going to go with. Uh, <laughs> who's who's ever played for West Ham? Um, for, Harry Redknapp. Did he ever play for West Ham at the time? Oh, you are closer than you realise, but no. He, I don't think he, he... He did play for them, but he wasn't in this match. Oh. I've probably given you a big clue. Uh, I, I did Kevin probably Keegan haven't. <laughs> I think Ke- Kevin Keegan's Spurs, isn't he? Oh, I know who you have given me the clue of. Yes, right. Who, sorry? Keegan. Keegan? He wasn't at Liverpool, was he? No. So some, like, so people, there's definitely going to be some people watching this about five years older than me going, what an idiot! Because I just kind of, I don't, I could not name there's some names on this team. list that you're going to kick yourself out when you realize I that definitely there. will. Like, I'll definitely know the players, but it's knowing them in that season as well. And also just like knowing that they played for that team. I like a lot of these players I will remember for being England players probably rather than for yeah. being. Right. So Harry Redknapp's not there. So Frank Lampard Sr. steps up to take a penalty. Yeah, yeah, Frank Straight Lampard down the middle. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Frank Lampard Senior's in. Um, good, good. Yeah. Did, did you get it with the clue? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. You, you've got a couple. You should win this 3-2. You should. I don't think so. I've only got one so far. Yeah, but was... looking at this, there's. if you think logically about it, you should win. I'm literally going to be guessing at West Ham players at this point. I can't think logic. Like my brain has a 1990 shaped hole in it, uh, mainly because I was two years old, but mm. also because I just like, by the time, there's, there's no England team by the time it gets to 94. 1990, I think you've got some really good players, but a lot of them, like, you know, obviously a lot of them aren't Liverpool players. They probably are. It's probably a centre back or someone like a uh, couple of, there's a couple of very iconic players. Uh, um, there's there's a league title winner in amongst them. There's a mm. um, someone who someone who uh, is now a commentator. A title winner. Um, Steve Bold. Steve Bold played for Arsenal. Yeah, he so, did. Um, so, yeah, and Sunderland. wait, is he on my screen right now? No, he's not. Okay, because <laughs> he because the West Ham played that final against Arsenal. Did Steve Bold play for West Ham? <laughs> no, he's in the Arsenal. He's not in the Arsenal team actually. But... Um, who would have been in goal? Harry McKendrick. No, no, no. Right, your goal. This is good. Right, we're gonna get. Yeah, to I guess it's the last pen. Is this the last? No, I, I've got one more, and then you've got one more. Oh, have you? Um, yeah. Oh, I've, no, I've almost... got to score this. I've got a score. I've got a score. No, I'm not going to get this. Okay, a Liverpool player. A Liverpool player. I am going to kick myself. Right. 100%. If if I was to try and put you off. Who would be doing something roundabout now that was synonymous with Liverpool and penalty shootouts? Synonymous with Liverpool and penalty shootouts? Yes. See, if I'm thinking penalty shootouts from that, Southgate's later. Pierce, Stuart Pierce, Stuart Pierce didn't play for Liverpool. Uh, I'm sorry, Liverpool fans. I've tried to get you. I've tried to get you through on uh, this one, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> No, Gaz is not Liverpool. Won. Yeah. Go on, tell me. Is, is it the goalkeeper? It's going to be the goalkeeper, but I can't think who it is. Oh, um, uh, Bruce Grobelar. Bruce Grobelar. Is that, was that the answer? With a Penenka. Oh, <laughs> last second. 2-2. Two, two. He said, <laughs> trying to put me off. I was really doing his little legs. Yeah. I, do you know, I nearly said Emmy Martinez in my head, and then I thought, oh, wait, 
he's doing the grobbler, isn't he? Grobbler used to do that. Uh, I don't even know for West Ham. I, I'm good. All right, if you take a name that I just said and change it ever so slightly. <laughs> what if we take Emmy Martinez and change all No, Steve no, one of, one of the players I was I was thinking about penalty misses. Uh Gary Northgate? No. No. Oh, never mind. All right. Um I think I'll yeah. give it to you because you gave me a massive clue with uh with, with Bruce Gobbler. I think I had an awful opinion. I can give you another massive clue as well. This player then Go this on, player him. left Liverpool to become a Galactico. To become a Galactico. McManaman wasn't there then, surely. McManaman was there then. No. He was. 1990. He was the number 10. Yeah. He didn't leave. He went to be a Galactico in like 2002. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh, I probably could. I probably could have got a few more, but then mm, um, yeah, Dean Saunders, Jan Mulby, Ray Houghton, Steve Nickel. Okay, yeah, okay. League winner Michael Thomas. Because it's probably still league... too early for like you know Redknapp. For oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the I think they were the f- couple of years later. Yeah, and for like um, who sniffed the line? Uh, Fowler. Fowler. Too early for Fowler. Yeah. Yeah, none of those were on the... Uh, on so the I'm surprised was, McManaman's in there then. I'm surprised McManaman's in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As, there's not many managers that have come out of that Liverpool team, is there? No. No, there's not. There's not. There's not. Uh, interesting with the Sunderland ben- sign, uh, team, though. John Byrne had scored in every single round of the Cup up until the final. So would, would have been one of the only players to have been able to score in all rounds uh, leading up to that point. Do you reckon you could name someone from the um, from the Arsenal 1980 team? There are uh, played, were played West Ham. Yeah, there are two managers in there at least. No, three managers, I think. David O'Leary, Warren. David O'Leary. Yeah. Uh, there you go. I'll give it. I'll give. I'll give you the win on on that. That's that's oh, yeah. that's, your, that's that's the knockout pen. Because I don't think you. I don't think you might have struggled. Well, there are actually some managers in the West Ham team. Okay, your your West Ham team goalkeeper would be Phil Parks. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. back was. Right back was Ray Stewart. Right. Left back was Frank Lampard Senior. Mm-hmm. Centre back, very famous West Ham player, like his their favourite player of all time, probably Billy Bonds. Billy Bonds. Or one of yes. their favourite players, yeah. Alvin Martin, Alan Devonshire, which I think is a flat cap. Yes. Alan Devonshire, yeah. Yeah. Um, Paul Allen. When I said try and get a name from a name I of said, course. I said Stuart Pierce. The answer was Stuart Pearson. Which you probably wouldn't have got, but I th- I thought maybe uh, David Cross, Trevor Brookin, Jeff Pike mm. uh, was and Paul Brush off the bench. Uh, the Arsenal team's pretty good. Pat, Paul, Pat Jennings, Pat Rice, Pat John Devine, Gorkley, yeah. Brian Talbot, David O'Leary, Willie Young, Liam Brady, and Alan Sunderland, Frank Stapleton, David Rice, and Graham Ricks. Um, oh. mm. Who who could I? Who, anyone else I could add in the Liverpool team? Um, Liverpool team, Grobbler, uh, Rob Jones, David Burrows, Steve Nicholl, Jan Mulby, Mark Wright. Oh, Jan Mulby. Dean Saunders, Ray Houghton. Michael Thomas was the league winner uh, who famously oh, scored the goal for Arsenal against Did Liverpool he? the previous season. Oh, uh, okay. The title. Oh, the previous season. And then on the bench, <laughs> Mike Marsh and Mark Walters. Graham oh, Souness was the manager. Oh, Souness was the manager. Oh, I might have got the manager. And Ronnie Moran as well, who was interim, but then also led them out uh, a couple of years later. So Kenny Dalglish, like in my head, I feel like Kenny Dalglish, he might have come back as a manager or or something. Mm -hmm. When was he manager? 1985 to 1991. Wait, what year was that final? 92. Oh, Oh. (laughs) yeah, yeah. I knew he was in and around the team. Oh, he was still, oh, he finished, he did finish his career in 1990. So I wasn't too far out. Yeah. He was still, because I knew he played for a ridiculous, he was played until he was 49 with Liverpool. Yeah. Which is, I knew he did play until a ridiculously for a ridiculously long time. Okay, right. So the Sun- uh, the Sunderland squad was notable for being the most recent for being Oops. at the for being the last team to have featured only players born in the British Isles in an FA Cup final. The last team to have done that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, actually, oh, the, the Sunderland team was the last one to do. It. Okay, because the West Ham team isn't isn't far off. Yeah, um, I mean, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. The, West, the West Ham one's older. So, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, okay, West right. Ham. Then West Ham's through. Liverpool that's are out. Show. Sorry, that's Liverpool. a good one. Actually, yeah. yeah, that was, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Um, and then we with the final quarter final. Chelsea. This is just v. the quarterfinals. 
Be Arsenal. Up the Arsenal. Yeah, you you get you like the Arsenal. Okay, uh, let's get rid of Chelsea. Right, semi final. It's an interesting semi final. It's not who I expected, but we've got that Spurs mm-hmm. against that Everton. I'm putting Everton through. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, there's something classic about that. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely isn't the final four I thought we'd have, but... No, it's not, is it? It's, it's really not. Against against that Arsenal. I mean, that's the magic of the, of the FA Cup, really. Is it against that Arsenal shirt? Well, no, sorry, let's get the home shirt. Let me mm. go back. Because I think, I think I've just jumped straight very, very quickly with that, that Chelsea and Arsenal one, but... I think I still think that's a better Arsenal shirt than the Chelsea one. But yeah, the, Ar- tough, the Arsenal one's good. Yeah, yeah. Who can you see playing in this? Ray Parler. Ray Parler? Yeah, Ray Parler, surely. Giovanni yeah. Van Bronckhorst, Sol Campbell, Vieira, Ashley Cole. Vieira, Petit. Berg, Bergkamp still. Henri. So like old badge as well. We, we had like all the... Highbury? Flirty. Yeah, still Highbury. Yeah. But then, the, but then the bowling ground, isn't it, for, for West Ham? They're right on the peak of, of their... Um, it's the season before the unbeatable. Mm, season before the end of it, isn't it? West Ham. I don't like... like The West Ham one's nice, but it is, it is a polo show, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. What makes the better final, this versus the Everton shirt? Or the Arsenal shirt versus the Everton shirt. It's a tough final either way, you know. Because I think Everton's putting up a right battle in the final against both of those Let's, have a, look, let's have a look at the other Everton ones for that year. That's the away. It's a weird grey. Yeah, it's a bit dirty. Isn't it? Although, would they have worn the following season shirt? Oh, don't final? do this to us. Don't, don't okay, offer okay. up a different... No, no, no. no. Let, let, let's have a look, though. Because if this comes down to the tiebreaker, of what was the next Wait, season how do I, how shirt? Do I Everton. Oh, I don't think they changed shirt. No. They don't change shirt. Oh, FA Cup final 85, 86. Wait, which year do they win? I don't know. Wait. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Is oh, that no. lost it for them? <laughs> Everton FA. I th- don't think I think they got to the final again. Um FA Cup finals. FA Cup, what is it? Not FA Cup 1986. Uh, I've lost track of which which year it is now. FA Cup. I think they won in 85 and lost in 86. Uh, yeah, eighty six they lose to Liverpool, so this is not the final shirt. This is the yes. subsequent season shirt which they lost in. Mm-hmm. Um, so they do. So it is this one we're looking at. Okay, wait, we're not on that match though. We're still on, we're we're still, we're we got still, a semi final. To... Um, okay, I will tell you what. If you can name, we'll, we'll, we'll play the name game, but we'll have to do it slightly different because we have just done this West Ham. I still reckon you I get the West name... Ham team wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you can name uh what year is it 2002 if you can name let's say 10 they of the beat, did they level. beat liverpool in the final or that was the they league cup chelsea. final when liverpool had the they beat chelsea liverpool might have won that like, yeah possibly i don't know let's say if you could name hmm how many do you reckon you could name of the of the, of the final of the Arsenal team, yeah. Who played, including so subs that came on. Six, seven. It's quite bold, what, actually, isn't you... it? <laughs> if you can name eight of them, right? If you name a sub, I won't I won't deduct them though. So like essentially you're allowed three wrong. Okay. And we'll put the Arsenal through. Start with your goalkeeper. Your goalkeeper's easy. David Seaman. Okay. <laughs> Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Right, you've lost a life. <laughs> oh, really? It's funny because, we, yeah, we actually said him a minute ago, didn't we? But he's I'm not there. He's not in the I'm squad. The bat through. Ashley Cole would have been the left back then. Yeah, Ashley Cole left back. He's not even in the squad, Van Bronckhorst. Interesting. Vieira and Petit. Uh, Vieira... You've lost the second life. No, Petit. he's gonna cost me. <laughs> I don't know where Petit is. Is he left or is he not? Lundberg. Uh, Lundberg's in yet. 
She's got three. Henri. Henri's four, yeah. Pierre Comes off, actually. Bergkamp. Bergkamp must have played, surely. Yeah, so you're up to five. Adams? One... Adams? Yep, yeah, you have to Adams six. Adams have played. So you've got two more, you've got one life left. Two more and one life. Um... There's a player who I think has played, but now I'm on two lives. I don't know where I'm going. Did Perez play in the fight in that game? Oh, no Perez either. Did Sylvan no Vil- did, no Perez, did Sylvan Viltorp play in that game? Yeah, yeah. That was the one I was going to go with, and I was like, Perez probably no Perez or Petit. I wonder, like, if they oh, were. Right. So who was, who was at right back? Was it Oleg Luzhny or something? Okay, so two of these players. Play I don't know if he there. actually played. Uh, let me Carnu check. Carnu would have played there, wouldn't he? Carnu came on. Not a right and back. Small Campbell, of course. So actually, three. Sorry, I lie. Three. There is a third Portsmouth one. Um, Port, Port, third Portsmouth one. Yeah. Let me see if Nicholas he. I think he was. No. Nope. I wonder if you get the third one. Yeah, he was hit Portsmouth. So he did win the FA Cup with Portsmouth as well. We did have Tony Adams as manager afterwards, but he uh, isn't Tony Adams. <laughs> um, it's the right back. The right back for Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah. It's a whole. It's a Harry Redknapp purchase. So I feel like it's like. Did you have, like? All I've got in my head is like Chorluca or like Vandenbore or something uh, like. Sort of one of those like sort of. We did have Anthony Vandenbore, yeah, but no, it wasn't. But it was not Chorluca Van was Man City, wasn't it? So Chorluca, yeah, Chorluca was Spurs, and it was like probably like. Maybe. It's like a football manager, sound like a Dario Cerner or something. You're on the wrong continent. It's a Harry Redknapp purchase. Where does Harry Redknapp like buying players from? Although he did buy him from Arsenal, but um, he might play for Chelsea as well, actually. I think about it. Oh, Rigabest, not Rigabest. No, song. Jeremy. No. Nope. Jeremy was Tottenham, wasn't he? Loren. Loren, yeah, yeah. Loren. So we had Loren, Campbell, and... Can't call it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, in, okay. In the right, well, team. Sorry, yeah, Arsenal. Oh, so, so, yeah, yeah. Loren... Campbell, yeah, you didn't say Campbell. Mm-hmm. Tony Adams, Ashley Cole, Will Tord, Ray Parler, you didn't say. Yeah. Patrick Vieira, you didn't say. Uh, Lundberg, Berg, Camp, and Henri, you said. And then on the bench, you had Richard Wright, Lee Dixon, Martin Keown, Edu, and Carney. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Um, right. So I think that uh, you failed it, right? So West Ham goes yeah. through. West Ham goes through. Now- right, we got to... What now it's got? West we got... Ham versus Everton, and we've got to try and guess yeah. the Everton team. I don't know how we ended up with these two. <laughs> I don't know how we ended up with these two. Okay, do you think you could... What is it? What year is the Everton? 1985. 85. Do, you, do you think you could name one player from that team? Peter Reid. Oh, okay. Everton, 1985. 84-85. Uh, Where is the FA Cup final? Here it is. Please tell me he played in the cup final. Please tell me he played in the cup final. He did. Yeah. Uh, two two other players he might have got. Uh, um, oh, one. Oh, we already named one. Pat Van der Howe, didn't we? We named some earlier. Did we go for these earlier? Graham Sharp, no, Andy Gray. Pat Van der Howe played for Tottenham. Yeah, he also played for Everton. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's the last time we mentioned his name, wasn't it? Oh, right. Well, yeah, Graham we mentioned Sharp. him for Spurs. Yes, Graham Sharp. Or did, we, or did we mention Pat van der Hal for Millwall? No. Is he a, is he a, no, he was at Millwall uh, after the... Uh, Graham Sharp would have been there. Graham uh, Sharp, and Andy, Neville Southall. Andy Gray. Neville Southall in goal, yeah. Gary Stevens, Peter Reid, Trevor Stevens. Steven. Yeah. Trevor yeah. Steven, yeah. Um, Stuart oh. McCall? No. No? I could have sworn I would have imagined his, his flowing ginger locks there, but um, maybe later on, maybe later on. Congratulations, Everton, though. You've yeah, won, on penalties. <laughs> yeah. On penalties. There we go. So Everton, Everton is our FA Cup winners, Cup kit winners. And you know what? There's something beautiful. About They've been docked points left, right and centre in real life Premier League football, but they have won the football shirt social FA Cup shirt, which <laughs> comes with no points or any sort of actual prize, but still, like, fair play. Fair when play. I was I seeing some of the classics when I was putting this together, I did not think we'd end up with this one. It's not the final like, we would have expected, was it? No, no. Man, oh, magic of the cup. Magic but of the what cup. do you think? Are you happy with that as, as, as A, the final, and B, the, the winner? 
Yeah, I, I think you know this. This it's nice, you know, classic. The, the old badge is interesting. Like this is it's mm-hmm. an interest, interesting collar. Um, it's just like a classic. Again, you don't you don't see Lecoq sportif shirts nowadays, do you? Do Not they? often. No. I don't know if they make any. Um, it's kind of like a Sports Direct shoe brand now. So yeah. Yeah. Well done, the well comment done, section's going to be interesting to work out who should have gone who should have gone through at the final. So yeah, <laughs> it'll, please, be, it'll, it'll be one through. that I accidentally missed off adding in when I was looking back through oh, the God, team. Imagine, that, imagine if you've missed a cup winner. Um, uh, excuse me, you missed 1997 Manchester United. Oh, yeah, it'll be like some let banger us, of a shirt. <laughs> let us know in the comments who you think should have been in the final or we or won uh overall um but yeah i'm I'm happy with that side i can put my name to that i'm all right with that well you quite like this year's manchester united shirt don't you which by the time this goes out it could well be as you know this this will be out before that i don't like no i no, i like the i like the green away kit i think it's yeah that one I, yeah i have a feeling it's going to become iconic that's right yeah, they win because they win the fa odd. cup in it it's odd i don't think it's going to be a historical shirt it's it's i think it's just it's just it's different and it stands out for me because it's different um but i think there's some some better man u kits there and and like they they're tricky they're tricky to to sort of like pick one out because they do tend to have some smart kits arsenal always have smart kits liverpool when they do it right those like old 80s adidas kits 90s adidas kits are brilliant some of the newer like, ones uh... i'm not really a fan of like all this nonsense on the front of the shirts you don't like this it's not the geometric for me. the geometric roses uh, it's not for me hmm. i quite like the geometric roses mm. they're like it's like a subtle like more so than say yeah see I, I like the board. i like the, the the stadium print i like the bit where they had the the two-tone collar and the shading on the on the sleeves back in the early Early two thousand, I think possibly. Um, they devoted the board on the sleeves. No, no, the um, bit further down, bit further down, bit further down. Nineties. Oh, this yeah, one. Yeah, nice that one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's that's quite nice and iconic. But that could have again, been in there. But Arsenal won that year. I yeah, think. yeah. But I th- but what I think is interesting uh, doing doing this show a lot is that it's the shirts that they bring memories they bring bring memories and, and i'm not watching a lot of modern football so a lot of the modern kits aren't really going to like hit with me as much because i'm not seeing it and i'm not falling in love with those players or whatever or those or those key matches so going back into the older kits i'm like yeah you know what yeah i remember that i remember those players and that's why that's why i think the spurs kit really stood out for me because again i remember watching it that spurs versus forest final and that's like a memory that's sort of like ingrained in your brain that sunday liverpool game ingrained in your brain the Coventry one you know I, I was would have been aware of as well um this season's Coventry kit pretty smart pretty smart but interestingly it has stripes much like mm-hmm. the last time they were in the FA Cup final but uh, now it's, it's also the a same humble. color blue mm-hmm. yeah uh yeah it's 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 sky blue uh it does have like a geometric pattern in it um, is it not meant to be the stains of the wind glass stained glass windows is it or is it uh this one, no. Uh, mm. So the, I don't believe so. What does it say? Features elements, club first, elephant. Oh, uh, ah, right. Okay. So there are, uh, the elephant and the phoenix are apparently in there somewhere. Uh, oh, there is like the, the cathedral is up there. So, oh no, that's the yeah. castle bit. Somewhere there's the elephant and there's the mm. phoenix in there. I can't actually see it. Um, the stained glass window one is, if I can, country kit history, mm. is last, is this one. That's right, yes. If you've ever been to Coventry Cathedral, that's one of them. And also uh, this one. If yeah, those... that's, that's the bits in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, all three kits that season. This one as well. Mm-hmm. This bit, These are also, I think, a stained glass window. Yeah. Um, I mean, Humble been doing Coventry some good shirts. Been doing, they also did, doing the shirts uh, for a few years, yeah. The two tone ones, two, really two smart. Ones, yeah. Really smart. Um, this is the... I don't know if this is the Rico, which is kind of funny because I don't know if they played yeah. in the Rico that season. <laughs> if they were kicked out that season, mm-hmm. they had the Rico on their shirt. Uh, this one has a big Phoenix on it. But yeah, they've had some... Well, the sponsors have got better, so they haven't got Boyle mm. Sports anymore. That sort of ruins those shirts. Oh, there's the other two-tone one. This is the other two-tone Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? It's nice. looks like, yeah. It looks like a cycling shirt, though, doesn't it, really? <laughs> it does a bit. Um, but yeah, I think like it, that... The idea that they've gone back to the stripes this season and mm-hmm. that could be... The um, you know, 
the cup final thing, shirt. The cup final shirt could be kind of cool. They've got the Hummel template as a third as well. Yeah, yeah. And green. Awesome. Right. Okay. Well, I think we've gone. We've gone long, Si. But I think That's we've right. got yeah, there yeah. at the end. You know, it was that yeah, yeah. or replay <laughs> this episode. And apparently, you're not allowed to do replays anymore. No replays. We had, yeah, we had to do penalty shootouts tonight. Um, so, congratulations to Everton for their football shirt social FA Cup winning shirt. Let us know, of course, in the comments below if you think we've got it right or if you would have uh, crowned a different winner. Sai, yep. as always, huge thanks for coming and joining us on the show. Um, let people know where they can find you to get, uh, to get, to get sent angry emails about the fact that Evans won. Yeah. Uh, Sai Maggio on pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. So, yeah, if you if you go... If you go um, just just or TikTok, Simagio football shirts now on mm-hmm. YouTube as well. Uh, yeah. How about yourself, uh, Tony Jameson on Twitter and Tony Jameson FM on Twitch? But more importantly, follow at Footy Shirt Sock on Twitter, which of course is the football shirt social Twitter account, and like and subscribe to the video on YouTube as well because that's really interesting. And join the Discord, come and have a conversation with us over there as well. Share your purchases with us. Um, you come and find where we found some little cheap bargains so you can keep your eyes up there and be like, oh, that's quite interesting. So yeah, come and join that, come and hang out there. And like I say, follow the, follow the show, uh, both on YouTube and on Twitter as well. Do come and join us next time sign pleasure as always everyone hope you enjoyed it stay safe take care we'll see you on the next one